your life. Okay, so I guess I'm going to go first then. Um, one thing, we have some new ones on the board, so one thing I wanted to do was briefly um, walk down through the process and the importance of the process so you can kind of get a background of what we're doing today and why. Yes? Um, yes, I apologize for that. Tracy, can we do a roll call? Yes. Good point. <clears throat> Fenton. Here. Whitus. Buckley. Here. Pinkley. Here. Yancey. Here. Romine. Here. Denham. Here. Milton. Here. Dobbins. Here. Mayor, we have a quorum. Okay, now it's me. I'm sorry. So anyway, um, what I was saying was um, this process took a good bit of time in the beginning, and I want to explain why why we did what we did. Okay, so in the beginning, we wanted to look for, um, and I, I believe this was back around in 2012, that we wanted to look for a way to um, be able to measure how we achieved the goals that the community has set before us. So the community came together and set before us a community plan, which gave us the goals and the direction for this community. So one of the questions was, Jamie, how do we um, know that we're spending the money towards the goals that the community has given us. So we were tasked with finding a way to be able to kind of build that bridge to come together and say, well, here's what we're doing and here's why. So we did, we found some training, we did an RFP, we found the consultants to help us. And in the end, the, this is the, where this process came from. So step one of priority-based budgeting um, or budgeting for outcomes. A lot of people say it in different ways, but um, step one was to um, determine what the ultimate goals for our community was. So originally, we our city was one step ahead because we were already given a community plan. One of the first steps to establish this process is to have a community plan, and we already had that. So the next step was to be to um, summarize that community plan and maybe, we call them 10 big rocks. Um, and so that's where um, you will see um, the results maps come up here in just a minute. And so um, through that process, the board at the time um, and the um, department heads and the city administration came together and said, okay, with all of these things, with this large community plan, um, let's narrow it down. And so the result was, these 10 results that you're gonna see here in just a minute, community character, land use, tourism, many other things that are very applicable, um, public safety to our citizens. And so then we said, okay, now we've got these big rocks, how are we going to define them? And so the definitions came from, it was a big um, a couple of day event to where we all came together and said, okay, when you think of community character, what are the first things that you think of? And so we actually went through this lengthy process of getting sticky notes and putting them up on a board and going through that process and narrowing it down to a few definitions for each result. And so then, now that we have the 10 big rocks, which summarize our community plan and the definitions behind them, then the goal was for us to say, okay, what do we do? What are the programs that we do to serve this community? So then that was on the department heads and each department had to, had to come back and say, okay, now we are tasked with putting everything we do into a program. The end result was we had like 829 programs. Um, but that was very relevant. We needed to know that to go on to the next step. The next step of that was costing each program. And that was a task because that uh, is personnel, that's time, that's um, commodities, that's contractual, anything that we've spent we have to cost allocate to whatever department it is. So um, that was the directors and the finance department working together to establish, okay, 
it's a it's a pretty cool program to where each of you've got the programs. Now you know 100%. Here's 100% of your labor. Now you have to allocate it over your programs. So you have to decide how much time each of your people spend on what programs and all that. So it was a very detailed uh, process that we went through. But now that we have the cost of each program and what we do. And so um, every year when the budget comes around, um, we go through, uh, as you all know, we go through a biennial budget process, um, which means we still have to approve the budget annually. But um, one year, which was last year, we go through and we set numbers. So 2021 and 2022. Now, obviously, this year is kind of an anomaly because we have COVID, which uh, we were not prepared for and we will have to adjust for. Okay, but typically... Um, we go through and we set 2021 and 2022 numbers in one year. The following year, we go through this priority-based budgeting update and process to determine how each of our, have, have we changed programs? Have we done away with programs? Have we increased our programs? Are those costs new? Are they allocable to what we're doing? Those kind of things. Um, and we did that so that there wouldn't be so much on departments in any one given year. Uh, and it's worked out. I mean, there's always, like on the second year of the budget, there's always going to be some adjustments. There's always going to be those things. But it's not the full, heavy set and budgeting financial process that it typically was on an annual basis. So that brings us to where we're at right now. Um, okay, so the department heads, they go through as they did with this process. This is the capital request items. And so they go through and um, they request all their capital items. Now this year, um, there is a lot of items to go through. Um, there's a lot of items to go through simply because th there was no items purchased last year because in about May, as you recall, we had to stop all that. We had to stop your one times. We had to stop any capital because of the unknown. And we did not know simply what we were up against. And the idea behind that was to how can the city sustain the ongoing operations? So um, that is why we did what we did. So now we're at um, this step to where they have gone through and they have requested all their capital items. They did a really good job of defining them. You see those definitions and they're all split out by the goals for you. So today, what I want to tell you is that this group is known for, this is the peer review group. So all of the departments have gone through already this process and scored each of their programs or capital items in this case back to the results. You won't see their scores because we don't want you to have a bias against what the department scored. We want you to go through this process and put the score that this group, that makes sense for this group based upon the definitions and based upon the descriptions. And that way, what happens after that is that we come together and we compare the department scores to the peer review scores. And I will tell you throughout the past, we've only had maybe one or two that have been differed. Now, I think one year we had about five that have differed. But when they differ that way, it wasn't enough to drop them in a quartile. So that was really great because what that tells us is that the department heads are really going through and scoring them back to the results and not back to just what they want. You know, they're really taking into consideration this process. What that leads us with is once the scoring is done, you have all the capital requests that score that tell you whether or not they achieve the highest result or not for the community. You also have all of the programs outside of your capital request that have already gone through these processes that will tell you they all have a score against them. So um, I can give you several examples, but you can look at what that process will lead to is, okay, Jamie, how can we do more with less? Here's how you can do more with less. You can go back and you can look at your programs that don't achieve your highest result towards what the community told you was important. In which case, then you have to make that hard decision to say, okay, we no longer need this program because it's not achieving 
the results that our citizens have told us is important. What do we do with that? We get rid of that program, and it's not to say we get rid of the staff with it or we get rid of the money or anything else. We drop that program, then we turn around and we have those resources available to reallocate to programs that are higher achieving results for this community. Um, and so this is a process and this is a program and a tool for the leaders of this city to use to make better decisions for the citizens of our community. And that's where really it all comes from. And so um, I always learn every year as we're going through this process, um, I merely am the facilitator today. I will help guide you. I can help answer any questions you want. But really, this is for you all to go through and say, OK, how do they achieve results? Um, and so it's a discussion. So I will tell you, we might not get through them all today, and that's okay. We might have to set up another quick one um, in a week or two to get through them. Um, uh, so just on the understanding, I'm going to go through the definitions really quickly for you. One thing I wanted to do first was tell you what the overall budget process is and where all of it falls in line in the calendar so that you all have the understanding of what's going to take place. So um, I have the calendar right in front of me, and these are things that if you want them, I will certainly send them out to you. We've sent them out to um, all the department heads. Everybody's gotten them. It's a calendar. It's a process, everything. So um, beginning around June 23rd, um, the department projections were due. June 30th, we had um, HR. We had all the projections and the capital um, requests were all due to us, merely so that we could get to this point today. Then... Um, Today, July the 9th, um, we go through this peer review process. July 16th, we have all the final changes that have been requested and approved for the entire budget. And then um, 19th through the 30th, we complete the budget analysis. And, and what that means, um, for those of you who haven't been through this process before, is we have to be responsible and go through and try to balance the budget with all of the changes and all of the requests that are laid out before us. Excuse me. And then um, beginning in August, the um, HR insurance rates are final and due. And then the fourth through the sixth, the city administrator, the assistant city administrator, the finance department, and the department heads come together and meet and go through all of their budget. And then on September the 17th, this is where most of you come in, the finance committee will review the final budget, okay? And then... On the 30th is when we have that special meeting with the board, the finance committee, the capital committee. All of those come together as we do every year, and we do a budget workshop. And that is when typically we send out the line item budget uh, about a week or so prior to that for everybody to be able to go through that special budget project. So you'll have all the line items. You'll have all of the funds. You'll have what, how they all balance and everything. Then we come back together for that discussion. And sometimes it takes two hours. Sometimes it takes three hours. Sometimes it doesn't take as long. It just depends on the questions and, and the process. And you're welcome to ask your questions ahead of time so that we can be more prepared for what's coming. However, I will tell you that that special budget workshop is extremely important because we can go through the facts of the budget and we can go through the analysis of the budget and that's what we do. But the ultimate budget and the ultimate approval depends on the board and everybody that we serve. And so it's important for everybody to come together and really look at the budget and ask those questions. And that's when the board gets to weigh in and all of that. So then after that, after the 30th, uh, if there's changes that are requested, um, anything that's requested during that meeting, we come back together, we make the final changes, the final amendments. If that uh, causes us to have to rebalance, then we'd have to go through that process and rebalance. And then um, on the 26th of October should be the first time it goes for first reading before the board. And then the first reading in November will be the second time. We do it in that way because in the past, Sometimes we've gotten up right up on the last board meeting of the year, and it, it's, it's too much to have to say, okay, we have to have it done by this time. So we try to get it all done a couple of board meetings ahead so that we have a little bit of cushion in the event that we need it. Okay, and so the January 1 of 2022, the adopted budget goes into effect, 
and then the uh, budget books are distributed after January 31. And again, I went through all of that just because some of you are new to the process and I wanted to make sure that you understand that before we start walking through this process, this is a step in, in, in our whole budget plan. Okay, so now, unless there's any questions, is there a question? Sure. Jamie, before we start the process, I just wanna take a minute and share what I've received from the community. When I was on the campaign trail, I had the opportunity to speak to an awful lot of people. And a common theme that I heard from the community was, and in priority, was police and fire. They, are, they have some concern about our police um, um, staffing, fire. There's a lot, huge um, desire to get us on the uh, fire department, uh, I mean the building down by Point Royale, um, huge request. Second thing was uh, parks and rec, common theme. Many of our citizens really want our neighborhood parks um, updated. Um, what they've heard or what they've seen and shared with me is there's some deferred maintenance. Some were questioning even some safety issues, but that wasn't true. Um, but there's a lot of deferred maintenance, and I know our parks um, budget has been reduced over the last several years. Um, but they're wanting at a minimum, they're wanting our neighborhood parks to be brought up to standards, and they would really like to see some improvements in the park. Um, the message there was giving our kids places to go that are safe, healthy. If we don't give them healthy things to do, they're gonna spend their time doing things that are not healthy. Um, and our recplex, um, they really enjoyed the recplex. The third, most common theme was transparency from the city. They don't feel that they are, um, they feel like a lot of decisions are made um, without their involvement. I shared with almost everybody I talked to that there is a tremendous amount of city information on our website. So I put the burden back on them to say, if you go to our website and you search through it, many of your questions will be answered. Um, there just seemed to be a, a lack of trust and um, maybe a f I think what it boiled down to was com communication, communicating with them on what it is that the city is doing. So I just wanted to share that before we go through this process because um, those were pretty loud common themes that I heard. Sure, thank you for that. And I think um, once we, let's let's walk down through these uh, results maps and the definitions. And you know, um, there's a couple of things that you can do to help. And one, and we are happy to sit down with citizens and show them this process because I I would imagine that if um, a citizen had that concern and I was able to show them the process that we walked through here. Uh, it would lead to more questions and more questions, but maybe it would start helping them find some assurance in the levels that we take to make sure we do what we do for them. But if they don't know this process, I imagine it leads to those kind of questions. So let's walk down through these. Did you, sorry. Yeah, yeah just real quick. I think an example would be, I, I really admire this process we go through, and I think it's critically, critically important. Maybe we need a press release or some uh, article in the news that just shares that here's who was on the board, here's the areas that we covered as we're um, preparing for our budget. Um, things like that, just getting the word out, letting them know that these are the things that are taking place. Yeah, sure. I mean, anything that we can do <coughs> yeah. to help, we're willing to do that. Um, and so, so one of the steps to success for priority-based budgeting, and I will tell you, um, this is this is remarkable, and so many cities, larger cities, use this, and um, even to help bring their budget back in line. Because, as you know, across the city, some of the larger cities, and maybe California, I won't name names, but and maybe um, places like larger cities like Detroit, <laughs> some of those places needed some help to try to refocus and bring their budget back in line. And so steps to success here is to determine your results. What are we in the business to do? That's a question. What is the city of Branson in the business to do? 
then we clarify those results. What do those results mean to us? Well, after we know, after we've defined what are we in the business to do, what does that mean? Um, then when we, when we went through those steps of identifying the programs and the services, what exactly do we do and what does it cost? Now we know. We have all of the programs that we do. We have them all scored according to how they achieve our results. And now we know the cost of all of them. And then the value programs based in results are what are the highest importance, which is what we're going to achieve today. Um, we can request everything. I, as a department head, there's a lot of cool things out there for the financial world, uh, even for IT world. There's a lot of really cool stuff out there. Um, but does it achieve what we're after, and do we spend the money on it? Now, I will tell you, I'll put a plug in for IT, and this is not, Ted did not ask me to do this, but the more study that we do through GFOA and stuff, our world is gearing toward technology, and how do we do that, and how do we focus that according to this process and our budget? And then um, allocate your resources based on your priorities. What can we see differently? And I wanted to read that to you today because those are really relevant questions, especially for right now. As you all are aware, uh, next week we're going to be getting reevaluating our finances for 2021. And so the, the challenge is ahead of us. Well, as of right now, the taxes have been doing well. They've been coming in well, um, and we've been doing well. Large part of it was thankful we had a great spring break in this town. That's really great news. But then the challenge is, what about the rest of the year? Um, we've heard a lot of economic uh, statistics, and that's this is not the time to go through them, but the challenge is... How do we properly assume the rest of the year? And then we have that gap to fill. And so what is that benchmark that we say, okay, we are going to fill this gap with this much, and then over there's excess that we release? Those are the questions that we're faced with. So this year's a little bit more challenging than has been in the past years. And so as we walk down through this process, remember, I want a couple of things I want you to remember today is today is not about the money. Uh, we're going to get to that. Today is not about dollars and cents. It is merely about how do we score the capital request that we have before us. So let's let's get into that. And um, Tracy, I'm going to go down through these just really quickly, and then we'll start the process, okay? So the first result that we have is community character. And then all these bubbles around those are the definitions that have been placed on communi community character that we look to to score each items. And um, over the years, we have really um, come to know that what we'll do is we're going to take one result, we're going to take one goal, and we're going to go down through those capital requests, and we're going to score them against that result. Then we're going to go to the next one and the next one and the next one. I want to give you an overview of what they all are first, and then we'll start that process. Community character, um, sustain and invest in a community of cohesive, diverse, attractive, and safe neighborhoods. That's one of them. And I know that you all can go through and read these, but um, that's where we're going to score them against. Um, Tracy, if you'll scroll up, please. The next one is community needs, arts, culture, and education. Provides for the preservation of community's unique history and heritage. That's a definition that supports that goal. That's one of those... Um, definitions that we're going to be looking to to put a score down on each one of these capital request items. The next one, please. Um, the next one is community needs, safety, health, and socioeconomic. This one has a lot of definitions against it, but each one of them are unique and they are important to the definition of this goal. Provides for the overall personal safety of its residents and visitors through a visible presence, prevention activities, and community education. So, Mayor, as you spoke early about public safety, you're going to see that public safety is a vital part of several of these definitions. And that's where um, the scoring comes in and helps us to focus on um, it's a community as a whole, it's a city as a whole, but we've got to make sure that we go through and put the budget monies back to what the community tells us is important. If you want to scroll up, please. Um, economic development, obviously, um, economic development is very important to any city. 
Um, and this one tells you why it's important to us to stimulate economic growth through well-planned, sustainable development, redevelopment, and revitalization of this community. That's huge, and that's important for any city. And I will tell you, a lot of these goals, um, you can go through a lot of the other cities that do this process, and you're going to find similarities all across the board because everybody's concerned about public safety and economic development and community character. A lot of them cross um, with many cities. If you'll scroll up, Tracy. Um, infrastructure and environment. This is also very important. This is really important to us because we are a city of 11 to 12,000 in population. However, we run on 80 to 100,000 people. And so infrastructure, keeping that infrastructure up is huge and very important. If you'll scroll up, land use. And I know this has been talked about a lot this year. And so uh, as environmental stewards of the land protects its natural systems and promotes sustainable development, um, that's just one of the definitions surrounding land use. And we'll get there. I'm just trying to provide you an overall um, picture of what those goals are and um, how we define them. OK? Um, the next one is parks, open space, and recreation. This is another one, Mayor, that you just spoke about. And this one is important. Um, Offer and support diverse variety of recreation programs and leisure activities that provide things to do for residents and visitors alike. That's another definition that supports one of those goals, and I think that's important to everybody. As a mom of three kids, that's extremely important to me, and I think through the pandemic and the COVID, we saw a lot of people getting out, experiencing nature, riding bicycles, going on hikes, and doing all of those things. Yes, that's important, and here's why, and that's how we define that. If you'll scroll up, please. Tourism, and we've already spoke a little bit, a lot about this. Um, offers visitor services and facilities that are ethical, informative, and clear to the tourists, and all of these definitions support tourism as well. And as you know, um, we are more than 80% tourism, so this one's very important also. If you'll scroll up, please. Transportation is another one. Um, obviously, your roads, your bridges, your infrastructures develops and sustains a safe, convenient, and efficient public transportation system that is coordinated with adjacent <coughs> municipalities and counties. And you can read all of those definitions, and you'll find that each one of them are relevant to our city. Um, and if you'll scroll up. And then the net last one is governance results. And then this is good governance. And this is good governance to supports decision making with timely and accurate short term and long range analysis that enhance vision and planning. Um, and that's important. And all of those definitions are important as well. I believe that's the last one. And so what we're going to do now, um, unless there's any questions for the process and how we get to what we're we're about to start doing. One of the things I want to remind you is I am merely the facilitator, and I'll say that a lot, but it is, it's my job to kind of keep you on track. And so what I mean by keeping you on track is really just guiding you when we're going down through, through these um, each one of these items. We're gonna define it for you. We're gonna list the program, tell you what department it comes from, and then remind you that, um, if you'll scroll back up to community character, please, because that's where we're gonna start. Um, and remind you about what we're scoring it against. Because sometimes some confusion comes in, well, um, what's the priority here? Um, we are not ranking these today in order of importance. And when I say priority, sometimes I believe that is confusion. So I just want to make that clear. These items aren't ranked from 1 to 89 in order of importance for the city. That is not what we're doing either. All of these capital requests are considered programs, all of which the department heads have already scored against these results. And that's what we're doing here today. Um, we're not discussing money, and we're not discussing an order of importance at this moment. I, so that, that'll be kind of mine to, to steer the questions in the direction back to the importance of the goal and the definitions behind the goal. Okay? Okay. So the first one um, is community character. So what we're going to do with this one is we're going to walk down through all the capital requests, and I'm going to 
Um, the first couple, we'll just really talk about. The next one, I'm going to just kind of name it for you and kind of let you all have that discussion because I think that's very important. Okay, so community character, you have all of the definitions out in front of you. And so the first one on the community character list is a public works program. It's program 2205. So um, is it more important for y'all to have the results maps up there or to have this sheet up there? I think we've given you all hard copies. What makes more sense to you all? Do you want the definitions and the results maps up on the screen or would you prefer this one? The results maps, okay. So let's focus on keeping the results maps up there because I think they all have the hard copies in front of them. Michael, did you need something? I'm just wondering if I'm out of order. Yeah, okay, so community character is first. Right. Your first sheet under second there. sheet, this one here. Okay. The next one is old arts, culture, and education. Okay. Okay, so the very first one is program number 2205. The program name is to replace a 2002 Chevrolet um, flatbed unit number 166. So this is a replacement of a vehicle for public works. The program description says this will consist of replacing the street maintenance department 2002 Chevrolet flatbed. This unit is 19 years old and was scheduled for replacement in 2012. Maintenance costs to date are 26,000 with mileage of approximately 69,000. Requests have been submitted since 2014 for the replacement of this vehicle. The replacement of this vehicle will be added to our snow fleet and will be fitted with a snow plow and spreader. It will be used to haul equipment and material for various projects. Okay, so on top of your sheet, um, you have all of the results, reduces visual cut clutter, preserves and revitalizes the historical character of the downtown. And so we're looking at community character and we're looking at this vehicle and, and what grade or score should we put on this? Is the program, which is the flatbed truck, is that essential or critical to achieving all of these results? So does this truck have a part in achieving one, two, or all of these definition results? And I'm gonna just pause a minute to let y'all look at those results. So the grading criteria is from four to zero. Is it essential? That would be a four. Does it have a strong influence on achieving it? That would be a three. Some degree, two. Some influence with minimal achievement, one, and has no influence. And it's okay to say zero on one or four on one, but make sure you go back to the definitions and is this truck vital to achieving any of those definitions or all of them? Jamie, I just have one question. This truck's a perfect example. It's a, a very strong needed piece of equipment and it was scheduled for replacement a long time ago. So I would ask, do we have an ability to put another character for a capital item that has fallen off the cliff, I call it? It's gotta come back in the fold someday or are we saying that we never need it again? Well, that's a good question. And so um, I would say for this process, does it achieve any of the results for community character? Because I will tell you, as we go down through the definitions, you're going to see that this truck will rank high on some and it won't rank really well on others. And so um, it may be if we haven't, you know, I would hate to say that we don't need it because I'm not the department head for that and I don't believe they would request it if it wasn't a need. However, that's really not what we're here today about. We're here to try to score it against the results. Once we have those scores, then when we come back and we know the money that we can spend on capital, then we determine does it fit the needs and do we put our money towards that or not? Does that make sense to you? Yeah, I understand. Now is not the time, but well, down the road, will we have an opportunity to say, oh, we need to add a couple of notches to this one because of its late 
Yes, and so here's what I will tell you. It's a, it's a good question, but here's what I will tell you. Um, the only way we add um, goals and objectives and change definitions is through uh, revising of the community plan because that's where the community and the citizens get involved. And until we do that, this is what we will be scoring it against because we want to make sure that this process starts with the citizens and is fluid all the way down through. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, well, let me make a, a stronger point. Some of the uh, pump stations uh, in the sewer plants, and then they're going to meet certain criteria, and let's say they come up with a three. Uh -huh. and let's say that because it's been a three, we haven't been able to replace those assets for quite a while. Isn't there a way that we can bump it up above a three? Because, you know, if you shut it down, then all of the things come into play. Well, um, so the answer is no, we can't bump it up because that's what this process is about, but there's another um, way to achieve what you're looking for, and that is through the internal um, service fund, through the replacement schedules that we've talked about. So we establish that uh, internal service fund, um, building up of those funds so that we have a long-term replacement schedule um, for those type of things right there. We do have uh, some funds built up in the water sewer that we are accessing and tapping into right now for some of the emergency purchases that are greatly needed. Had we not had that, we would be in trouble. And so they serve a very vital purpose. And um, this next year, you're gonna see us start budgeting those internal service funds for that replacement schedule so that we can really move towards long-term planning. But those mm -hmm. items are going to score very high in some of the yes, other. Yes, they mean, absolutely this are. This is just only community. Absolutely. We've got all the other ones. And so yes. to me, when we talk about this truck would be, this vehicle would be added to the snow fleet, be fitted with a snow plow and a spreader. I mean, I see, you know, in one of the bubbles, um, effective traffic flow that makes it easy to travel throughout the city. Um, so I think this one probably scores fairly low in this particular one, but it may score higher in another one. So another one on there is it enhances major corridors within the city, attractive and distinguishing landscape, character, yep. signage, and other um, identifying elements that um, community pride and visual interest. Right. Um, again, I I'll try to stay out of in a couple of it, but I just kind of wanted to direct you to that one as well because Truthfully, if this is a snowplow and a truck that benefits even during these big snowstorms, keeping our pathways clean and attractive. Could we notice uh, for the record that Jamie Wyas has arrived? Yes. So anyway, again, yes. I think it fits in a couple, but Absolutely. not all of them. Right. So I think it would be a lower score here. Yes. But I do believe that as we get into the other ones, it'll it'll score higher. So that's very true. That is very uh, correct, and you will see that, and that's how they level out. There's going to be some goals that they just simply don't achieve high, and that's okay. Um, again, just because it. It, it, even if it, Jerry, even if it, it receives an overall score of a two or three, it does not mean it's not going to get funded. It just means now we have a path to say this is achieving our results or this isn't achieving our results. At the end of the day, the board has the decision to make on what gets funded and what doesn't. So I'm going to throw out, I believe this is a two. Okay. How about the rest of you? What do y'all think? I'm thinking because we're under community character that it would score a one. Um, I agree with Jerry. I think in other um, categories it'll score higher. Um, but as far as just looking at the community character and just looking at this line item, I'm, I'm closer to a one. Okay. Everybody else, what, do, what does everybody else think? I have a two and a one. I kind I of feel it. like. I scored it as a one. A one. Michael? You're not going to hurt my feelings if you don't agree with it, too. I'm good. I'm, I'm, you I'm will good hurt with my one feelings. Or two, so, so don't, don't, don't hesitate on I my I saw mind. you looking, so I thought I'd call you out. <laughs> I think the purpose of this group is diversity. And yes. so mine would be a three, but it's based on others. It's based on all of those criteria, but I also know what public works and each department is up to and the fact that this vehicle will be used for other activities that 
relate specifically to almost every one of those bubbles. Okay. Yes. Well, and so so keep in mind, let's. Um, but it'll be lower somewhere. Else. Yeah. Let's stick strictly to these definitions because. This is one reason why we don't bring in the department scores on these things, so that we avoid that bias, because we all know there's need out there. You're gonna see in all these capital requests, there is probably a huge amount of need for every one of them. So th that's why I said this year's gonna be a little bit more difficult than it has in the past, because there was no capital, uh, not a lot to mention last year, because of the natural occurrence that we had in our um, world, actually. So, yes, I have a two, a one, and a three. Anybody else? Oh, and an, I'm sorry, two ones. You're right. And Jerry says two. I'm a two. A two? I'm a two. A two. I feel like an auctioneer. Okay, so <laughs> twos have it. All in favor. <laughs> okay. There was four twos, two ones, and a three. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> I'll go with two. Two, okay. So, um, and, and honestly, twos and a ones are so similar, yes. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. Um, the next one is a utilities vehicle, um, and it's advanced metering infrastructure system, and this AMI is what they're calling it, equipment system, improve the process of collecting water meter data and subsequent billing by providing staff and customers with immediate access to current water usage. The objective is to provide the most economical and reliable service to customers by providing timely access to data in home or businesses, allowing the residents and businesses to better control usage. Okay, knowing the description, um, the program name, the department, what do y'all think is in terms of community character and how does that um, capital request meet the needs of those um, definitions? I don't think it really fits in any of the bubbles. Okay. That's my opinion. Yep. Yeah. I'll give it a one. So zero and a one? Zero. Zero? Zero. Zero? I'm good with zero. Okay. Everybody, zero, pretty much? Okay. Tracy, are you getting these scores? I'm writing them down too, okay. Okay, so, so y'all kind of have an idea now how it all flows and works, so we'll start moving through these um, pretty quickly. If y'all have questions or you want me to slow down, <laughs> Please just tell me to. It's no problem for me whatsoever. Okay, so the next one is utilities, uh, Compton Drive flood protection, and we all know what this one is. Um, funding for the building Compton Drive wastewater uh, plant flood protection system. Um, we do know that um, we're gonna be bringing, now this doesn't affect the score, so I don't want it to do that, but we've gotten so far approval for $10.7 million worth of grants. Um, for a $14.4 million project. So in the event that we needed to come back for the 3.6, um, how does this rank in order of community character? Give me that 10.7 includes this most recent 3 million? Yes, it okay. does. Because originally the project was 10.7 yeah. and then they came back. I'll give it a four. join the party for okay and that's because all of these needs are not going to be met if that's that right it doesn't go up it's definitely going to cut down on some type of clutter you don't want okay so let's <laughs> let's go through that really quickly does it preserve and revitalize the historic character of the downtown yes yes I think it definitely preserves it I mean if that failed then Downtown's going to not have a sewer treatment facility. Okay, so we're gonna go off of, we're using this piece to say, if it fails, then everything crashes and it has to meet all goals. Is that, is that the direction that y'all are taking with that? That is my opinion. Okay, okay. Cody has an opinion. I was gonna say three. But... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you're going strictly off the definitions. The <laughs> If you're going strictly off the definitions that you're given in front of you, and knowing that the plant is where it's at today, 
would your score change? See, I don't really see that it fits in. To the, it's going to be so high on a couple of the other ones, but in this one particularly, yes, if it, there's going to be clutter and we know what kind's going to be floating around. <laughs> but to me, I would score the, I mean, but I will go along with what everybody else thinks, but I would think this would be a very, a much lower one here because I, I don't see this particular thing fitting exactly mm -hmm. into these bubbles. I'd be, I'd be good with the lower score, but I'm good. I'm just No, I think uh, you bring up a different perspective, and I think it's good. So um, what does everybody else think? Because if, if it were me scoring, I would probably feel the same way as Pam does. I know what's coming, and it's going to score very high on other things. But If you were one, just a facilitator. Yeah, I'm just a facilitator, <laughs> so what I think doesn't matter. And the first sub couple, uh, again, I'm going to step out of it here in a minute, so I'll try to be real quiet. <laughs> well, Jamie, this is a rare one. Um, if that plant goes, the city shuts down, and all of these definitions are going to suffer. And it's a proven fact that it's going to shut down. And the global warming in the water, I mean, I've been with the fire department and the flooding and the whatever, and I'm telling you, it's trending in the, in the bad position. We're, we're fighting a losing cause here if we don't get that wall out quick. You're, you're right, and that's important, but it's not relevant to this process. And the, the reason why I'm saying that to you is because we could use that same analogy on probably every piece of capital request that we have here today. If this happens, then this could occur, and then this could occur. And so that's why it's really important to just guide yourself uh, try to keep out all of the other stuff that we know, which is difficult, and come back just strictly to these definitions and give it a score. Because as I said earlier, it doesn't mean it's not going to get funded. You all know we've already got approval for $10.7 million. I mean, realistically, this is getting funded and majority is already funded. So... So if you put out aside all of the other things and stick strictly to these definitions, because... In reality, we could do that with every other capital request to say, if this happens and this goes down, then this goes down. And then everything gets a four, and it's it's kind of an irrelevant process. So that's kind of my sticky job is to try to make, to gear you back towards these definitions that are set in front of us. Yeah, I think, I think there's at least three. Um, you know, talking about the connected system of trails and pedestrian-friendly walkways. Uh, there's the part about signage systems and then the 76 country boulevard. So there's at least three of these definitions, I don't think, okay. that this particular item meets. And so that was that was where I came up with, with three and, and maybe three? even score. I agreed with the three. And, three? and simply because one of the things that <clears throat> another thing that it says in one of the bubbles is about leaving a lasting impression on our visitors. <laughs> <laughs> I think you would honestly leave a really poor impression. <laughs> if it wasn't taken care of. Is everybody else agree with the three or do we have other? I, I've heard fours, I've heard two fours, and two threes, and Jamie, three threes. I'm probably a two. But Rod's a two. Three. Three. Um, we have two twos, about four threes. Okay, so threes have it. Are we good with threes? Is everybody okay with the three? Okay. All right, next one is your water system GPS unit, survey grade GPS unit to capture point locations of new and existing assets. How does that one rank in order of importance? Is it essential to meeting the community character definitions? Does it have a strong influence on achieving those results? Uh, have, does it have some degree of influence? Or is it minimal? Or does it not simply not achieve them at all? Water system GPS unit. I don't, I don't really know what a water system GPS unit is, but I would say zero. And this is why we always have our directors present yes. with us, should you have any questions. <laughs> yes. It's basically technology that helps you locate uh, locations and new and existing units. So. Um, and then if you have any other questions, the directors, most of them are out there to help identify that. Rod, did you have something? 
You're a zero. I'm a zero. Okay, zero. I'm a zero. 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 Everybody zero? Okay. All right. The next one is your groundwater well service fund. The internal service fund program is set aside, is, is to set aside monies for rebuild and replacement of groundwater well equipment um, for six backup groundwater wells. The city groundwater wells are used to back up water supply. Okay, I need to have a question. <laughs> These are for the groundwater wells, not for the money to transfer to the internal service fund, correct? Okay, okay, so, so, so. That's, that would be through the budget process, not essentially the capital process. So. Do we still score these? Because essentially it could be for the groundwater wells. Okay, okay. So we're gonna talk about the groundwater wells. So this is for the uh, keep upkeep and the replacement of the groundwater wells. And so um, how does that meet the needs of community character? Essential, kind of a strong influence, some degree, minimal degree, or no influence whatsoever? Stan, zero. <laughs> I, I think it's a zero. I mean, for yes, this, zero. It's zero. Sure, it's going to be high. It, it will be very high other places. You're right. Yes. Does anybody else have anything well, else? I'll give it a one. I see here where we have distinguished landscapes, and if you don't have water, you don't have landscaping. Okay. Anybody else? I've heard a one and a whole bunch of zeros. Does anybody else have anything else? Are There's we okay with the zero? Zero. Okay. All right. I See, I kind of stayed out of that one. So I'm going to be doing that most. Good Keep job, going. Jane. I know. I was pretty proud of myself. Okay. The next one is the lift station 34 equipment and generator upgrade. So lift station upgrades will be to provide improved reliability, more efficient operations, and reduced operating costs. The existing 25-year-old um, station is equipped with a four-pump system and requires two pumps to run simultaneously in order to operate. The upgraded system will operate on two pumps with only one pump running at a time. Okay, so how does that meet the needs of community character? Essential, strong influence, some degree, minimal influence, or no influence whatsoever? It feels mean, but, and sorry, Kendall, but I, <laughs> on community character, I just, I don't see this one relating, so I'll, no, give, it, I'll give it a zero again. Zero. Sorry, You'll see. sorry You'll Kendall. <laughs> Don't, don't worry, it's going to rate high. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There'll, there'll be a time high. where they get all high, yes. Zero. Zero, Zero for everyone. Okay, see, see this process is everybody's kind of got the flow of it. And I'm going to start just really stepping back unless you need me. Okay, the next one is scheduled lift station pump rebuild and replacement. This is another utility program. It's a part of utilities asset management. Approximately 10 lift station pumps will be removed annually for evaluation and rebuild. How does that meet the needs of community character? Essential, strong influence, some degree, minimal, or no influence whatsoever? It's a zero. Zero? Everybody agree? Okay, we're moving. Next one is the sewer collection rehab. Improve the integrity of the existing sewer mains and manholes to limit the impact and cost of the treatment for groundwater. How does that meet the needs of the community character results? Is it critical and essential? Is it only a strong influence? Some influence, minimal influence, or no influence whatsoever? I would say some influence because of the manholes reworking, and you're going to see those in all the streets. So okay. There'll be some visual. Okay. Influence. So that's a good point, Jeremy. Uh, sorry, Jerry. My husband's name is Jeremy. Uh, what score would you give that? One, okay. Anybody one. else? One. one. Okay. All right. Next one. Rebuild Compton Drive effluent pumps. Scheduled. Now, this one was moved from 2020. Scheduled rebuild of one of the three existing effluent pumps at the Compton Wastewater Treatment Plant. This will also be in the future, just so you know, on a, a replace and rebuild schedule going out. So these are units that are scheduled for rebuild every 12 years about community character, how does that rank in terms 
of community character. I think it falls in line with the same score that we gave the list stations and, and different things. I, think I agree. Zero for this one. Zero? Everybody agree? Yep. Zero, okay. yeah. The next one, um, replace and rebuild Cooper Creek Air Raiders. It's a scheduled replacement of an air raider gearbox unit at the Cooper Creek Wastewater Treatment Plant. Zero. Zero. Does that help with the smell? Is that what the air raider does? <laughs> yes. I, yeah. I give it a one. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, I have a bunch of zeros and a one. Does anybody want to change or do they y'all agree with zero? Or a one? favor okay all right Re the next one is replaced unit uh, it's an international um, dump truck scheduled for replacement of a vehicle 294 this is a, a replacement dump truck this is what this is and this is for utilities and how does it meet the needs of the community character essential or critical or in no influence what do y'all think what's it used for Transport liquid biofuel. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wait, are we on the pump truck or the dump truck? The dump truck. And yeah, did I, I truck. skipped the pump yeah, truck, yeah, didn't I? You were so confusing. I am sorry. I'm moving too fast. This Pump's got to happen to dump, so. <laughs> okay. Let, let, let's go back up to the pump truck because y'all are correct. I missed it. And so schedule replacement of the tank truck vehicle, number 212, to transport liquid biosolids to the regional drying facilities. So um, the pump truck for utilities, how does that meet the needs of community character? I'll give you a one because if you uh, break down in the city, it's going to impact the uh, <laughs> uh, travel throughout the city while ensuring a connection. Okay. Anybody else? Different of opinion or I'm a perspective? Zero. zero? I'm a one. One? The biosolid helps with fertilization, doesn't it? Is that part of the... Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. One. yeah, there's a contract with local farmers. Yeah. One. I have a one. One? I think the ones have it. Ones have it. Okay, yeah. hey, the next one's a dump truck. <laughs> See how quick I'm going now? <laughs> the next one's a dump truck, and it's for utilities, and it's a replacement dump truck. Um, the vehicle has 21,679 miles on it. Zero. 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 The next one is um, Meadows Raw Water Basin Sealing. The raw water uh, concrete basins consist of a bunch of words and I'm not going to read. <laughs> <laughs> um, and all of those words help and aid uh, the aforementioned process. So I'm guessing it's um, something gross. <laughs> <laughs> Kendall, you might want to come up and explain so, that. Are we to assume there's none of this going on right now? When you look at that, is that part of it? It's just a replacement. Is it a replacement? Oh, okay. Okay, you, be you better explain it. I got to know what flocculation is. <laughs> Actually, um, what it is is, is it's, it will seal the, uh, the basin and keep the water from escaping so the water that we pump into the basin it keeps it from escaping so right now it's got some leaks as we shut the pumps off the water starts dropping down because we're losing fresh water it's actually for our uh, drinking water is it no it's it's well lake water oh. is this this is the meadows mall area no this is be our meadows uh, treatment facility our water treatment facility Okay, so how does that go along with community character? Zero. 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 Okay. Even after that great explanation. <laughs> don't take it personally. Okay. Um, the next one is to rebuild Cliff Drive intake pump. How does that meet the needs of the community character? Is it essential or critical in achieving those results? Does it have a minimal effect, or does it have any effect whatsoever? I think it's a zero. Zero? zero. Does everybody agree with a zero on that one? Okay. Uh, next one is the pool grate replacement. This is a Parks and Rec. And the grating system that surrounds the Branson Aquaplex is in need of a replacement due to the cracking and deterioration caused by heavy usage and exposure to the elements. 
So this is replacement of that. And how does that meet the needs of the community character definitions? Is it essential? Does it have a strong influence, some degree, or no influence whatsoever? Well, it looks like it contributes to the uh, safe neighborhoods. The pool grate for the aquaplex? I mean, isn't it in the neighborhood? It's at the recplex. It's, it's the pool at the recplex. Yeah. Zero for me. Zero. Zero. What do you think, Jerry? What do you think? Bummer. <laughs> what do you say? I know. <laughs> okay, zero for that. Let's keep moving. Okay. The next one is the athletic field lighting improvements for the Parks and Rec Department. Um, how does that uh, achieve the results of community character? Essential or no influence or some influence? What do y'all think? I think it does fit one of the bubbles under offers notable pronounced gateways of the city with its distinguished landscapes, identifying elements that project community values and leaving a lasting impression on our visitors because a lot of our visitors go to the ball fields out there. That's what they come for. So it, okay. it does have some. I think I agree it has some. Okay. So what score would you give it? One. One? Does everybody agree with a one on that? Okay. Next one, replacement flooring at the recplex. The vinyl flooring in the lobby and hallways at the recplex was installed in 2005 and it is in need of replacement as it is well worn after 17 years. This is to replace the vinyl flooring at the recplex. How does that achieve community character results? Is it essential and critical or? The same one. <laughs> one, okay, all right. Does everybody agree with one? Okay. Next one's for the fire department. It's a fire engine. Project supports the purchase of a fire engine for Fire Station 4 planned for construction to serve the southern areas of the Branson, including commercial and residential areas. Fire engine for community character. Um, how does this achieve those results? I, I again, think I see one of the bubbles. Sustains, invest in a community of cohesive, diverse, attractive, and safe neighborhoods. I think it okay. does fit that bubble. Okay. Anybody else? I'm a one. One? Stan, you're a one? Michael, one? Three? One? One's good. One? Okay. Let's keep moving then. Sweet. Okay. The next one is the Fire Station 3 driveway replacement. Project proposal replaces the front driveway at Fire Station 3. The driveway is starting to fail with multiple large cracks and deterioration noted. Um, so how does the driveway replacement affect the community character results? Strong influence, no influence? Well, it clearly does bubble number one. One? Okay. I'm a, one. a one? Everybody a one? Sure. Okay. Let's keep moving on that. Um, okay. This is the next one's for the police department, and it's online reporting software. This software allows the citizens to report crimes online. So knowing that, um, how does that achieve the community character results? Does it have a strong influence on these results or a minimal influence or no influence whatsoever? What do y'all think? I think it fits in that bubble on safe neighborhoods. So I would say it's probably a one in this particular Okay. Anybody else? Go for one. One. I'm good with that. One. Okay. Sure. The next one's for the police department. We're talking about community character. This is for SWAT operator equipment. Oh, never mind. I skipped one. I'm so sorry. Um, patrol replacement vehicles. Um, this is part of the uh, a leasing program replacing six patrol vehicles leased in 2018 under the three-year lease program. Okay, so how does the uh, replacement vehicles meet the needs of the character community character definitions? One. One. Safe. Yep. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, the next one was the SWAT operator equipment. Two new SWAT operators with proper equipment. A zero if we don't need them and a four if we do. <laughs> so uh, how does it meet the needs of the definitions for the community character? Does it achieve the <coughs> one for the safe neighborhoods? Anything else? I would do good with a one on this. One, okay. And, you, and like we said earlier, you're going to see some that score really low on some results and some that score very high on the others. So you'll see how it all works out here in a little bit. Okay, one, um, ballistic protection for firefighters. The next one is for the fire department. Project supports the purchase of ballistic protection for firefighters responding to active shooter hostile event responses as part of the um, unified team of law enforcement. How does that program meet the needs of community character results? I mean, I think it falls in just like the rest. It's a Same. One. one. Okay. Like does everybody have, agree? I'd like to have, ask Chief Matthews a question. Chief, I watch too much TV. <laughs> does the fire department, I'm going to embarrass myself, stage when there's a an unsafe environment, and after the police have secured it, the fire department is called in? Typically, but key on what she said for active shooter, that active threat, we train regionally for active threats, um, hospital, school, something like that. We will intentionally place fire personnel in warm zones where we go into the hot zones, pull the injured out, put them in a warm zone, not secure, cover them with, with police, you know, okay. security teams. So they're in a warm zone, not in a cold zone, treating the injured. That and makes I think sense. that's what this program is designed for. Thank you very much. Just so I'm clear, that was the ballistic protection for firefighters? Yes. yes. Okay. I see a one on the one. One. Okay. Next one. Inlet, does everybody agree with the one? Just I want to make sure real quick. Okay, so the next one is the fire station two remodel. Speaks for itself. How does that um, meet the needs of the community character results? Zero. Zero. Does anybody else? What do y'all think? Anybody else? Zero. Zero. Good. Everybody good, seemingly? Okay. Next one. Um, this is for, to paint the, um, the decontamination trailer. The project would repaint um, the trailer, and it's used as part of the hazardous material response team. So this is for the fire department. How does that repainting of the trailer, because I believe it's quite expensive, and that's why it's under the capital items, because it'll sustain the life and it's quite large. So how does that meet the needs of the community character results? Zero. 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 Okay. Anybody else have anything else? Okay. The next one is the asphalt paver and this is for public works. Um, this is a pull behind style machine which is pulled by the vehicle carrying asphalt and this equipment can be moved from truck to truck. So how does the asphalt paver achieve the community character results? Is it essential, the minimal? Stan says two. <clears throat> I'd say two. Attractive neighborhoods. Attractive and safe. Traffic flow, yeah. yeah. Bring it. Two. Two? Okay, everyone agree with two? Okay. Um, the next one is the replacement of the, uh, excuse me, replaced pedestrian um, crossing um, over by the Presley Theater. They replace the pedestrian crossing at the Presley Theater with more integrated LED system that connects with pedestrian crossings at Hollywood Wax and Ripley's. What do y'all think on that one? Um, how does that achieve community character? Pedestrian friendly walkways. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's, yeah, I actually see. Three Several. I would give it a three. Three? Okay. Everybody agree with a three? Yes. Okay. Wait, I need to plug something that I'm excited about. <laughs> Across from Presley's 
we're pretty sure Cheddar's is going to get built there. And people are going to want to walk from Cheddar's to Presley's and uh, to get on that other side of the street. So it's really important. Or, Does it achieve the results? <laughs> no, th three is fine. I'm just wanting to tout that Cheddar's is coming to town. <laughs> okay, the next one. Um, the 76 CID maintenance building. This maintenance building is for housing equipment and supplies for the 76 CID maintenance workers. Where do they have their equipment now? Um, it's, it's on a, you want to speak to that, Stan? Currently, uh, it is down, it's going to be housed at our garage uh, area down off of, I always forget the name of the street, Keith. I'm sorry? Stockstill, that's it. <laughs> down off Stockstill. This would get it actually into the, we're hoping to build the location, the building actually in the district because now that the entire CID has been annexed, uh, we're, we will be responsible for maintaining the entire five mile stretch or 3.2 miles, whatever it is. So we're hoping to get the equipment out there. Uh, we did have a location uh, where we had an old garage, but that property is being sold uh, and we're relocating. So it would be good to get it back out there. We just need the money to build the barn, so to speak. So how does this maintenance building achieve community character results? I'd say three at least. Three? What do y'all think? Rod, you say three, two? Okay. Ruth? Okay, everybody thinks three on that. Okay, the next one is the replace the pedestrian crossing at Shepherd of the Hills. What do y'all think on that one? Three, same thing as the other one. Okay. And how about the um, rebuild the meadows intake pump number two? This is a utilities. Zero. Zero. Okay. Does everybody agree with the zero? Okay. Next one is rebuild um, two Compton Drive influent pumps. Zero. 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 Does everybody agree? Okay. Next one is um, replace an international sludge truck. It transports liquid biosolids. This is another one. So is this the same as that other truck? No, it, it's it's another one. There's two of them. There's two different numbers, uh, 2230, and then this one is 2269. Well, we gave the other but, one a one. Would this one be yes, one it, well? yes. So they're both used to transport mm -hmm. liquid biosolids. Yes. I'm a one. Yeah. One. One. Okay. Okay, the next one is um, rebuild of the Compton Drive Influent Pumps, preventative maintenance program. Zero. Zero. Does everybody agree? Okay, the next one is um, replace Unit 147. It's a portable generator for the utilities. It has 904 hours on this generator, and they need to replace it. Zero. Zero. Does anybody else have anything else? Okay. Next one, um, to replace a Ford. Second. Hold I'm on. sorry, yes. What is, what is that um, generator used for? Uh, the generator is used for, um, for uh, in cases when uh, there's a power outage at lift stations. So not of all not all of our list stations have generators on site. So when there's a power outage, we have to transport a portable generator to that area to be able to keep sewer flowing during the case of an outage. So we have, if there is a power outage now, we have a generator that we pull out there. Mm -hmm, correct. And this would be to, to replace a permanent generator out there. No, it's actually just to replace replace the that same generator yes. we're hauling. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. With that being said, are y'all still at a zero? No. Okay. Okay, so the next one is utilities. It's unit 303. It's to replace a 2012 Ford F-350 utility truck. So what is the utility truck used for? Is it used to... Um, uh, if 
and that's help with traffic flow, attractive and distinguished landscape, and all that stuff. So this truck is used for our sewer collection crew. They use it to um, operate and maintain the sewer collection lines. So it basically it hauls all of their equipment to the site and what they use to perform maintenance. So I'd say it's a zero for this Kendall, one. this truck has 55,600 miles on it. That doesn't seem like a lot. What you'll find is, is a lot of our vehicles, um, besides our meter maintenance department, our meter maintenance department vehicles will have quite a bit of miles on there. But our utility trucks, which go from the shop to the job sites, um, uh, will will sit on site. Um, they have more hours on them hours, okay. than mileage um, because we have to keep trucks running to operate power for pumps and um, other items while they, while they do their maintenance. So... You'll see a, a lot of these vehicles have low mileage, but um, they haul a lot of weight as well with carrying a lot of um, parts and pipes and different things like that. Um, so they, they do get wear down. You thank know. you very so much. So you won't see the hours. On. Okay, thank you. So what do y'all think? How does that score in terms of community character? Zero. Zero. Zero, okay. Next one is the Walmart water tower. It's re renovation and repair of the Walmart water tower. Exterior coatings are beginning to fail. Interior holes patched with more spots showing. So how does uh, the repair of the Walmart water tower have an effect on the community character results? Is it essential? None at all? Minimal? What do y'all think? Are we repainting the outside of it? Is that what it is? Or just patching places? <laughs> you should sit in the front seat, I don't Kim. do <laughs> So this will be a complete renovation. Um, this will be inside and out. So this year we had to do an emergency purchase to um, repair 22 holes in the tower itself. So this is, water towers has been a struggle with us for several years of fitting them into um, the budgetary um, system because they are quite expensive to maintain. So it's uh, roughly, I don't want to say the price. So it will have a fresh coat of paint on the outside. Yeah, from the right? outside. It'll, fresh coat of it'll paint. help with the yeah. inside and outside. All our tourists yes. drive by. So I looked at it as a two or a one somewhere in there. I'm thinking a two yeah. because we're like doing the two. inside also. <clears throat> two. Okay. Everybody agree? I can't agree with the mayor, so I'll say a one. <laughs> okay. Uh, ma two majority rules. <laughs> okay. Um, the next one is for the fire department, fire station four construction. And how does that meet the needs of community character and the results given? Safe neighborhoods. Mm, safe neighborhoods. What score would you place on that? One. You, a one? What about you? One? I've heard one. Does anybody else one. have anything different? One. The next one is for the Parks and Rec, and it's the replacement of the portable restroom. The, currently, the restroom at the south end of the campground is in a state of disrepair and needs to be replaced due to the rusted out frame. It serves fishermen from Lake Taney Como as well as walkers and joggers. It, it, it is anticipated that the structure will not be able to sustain being moved the next time that it floods. <laughs> so, with that being said, for community character and the results given, what score would you place on that to achieve okay, the result? The historic character of downtown ensuring that its buildings are well maintained and tr contribute to the scale and quality of the district. Uh, pedestrian friendly. Uh, yeah. it, it is a destination point if you've got to go, right? <laughs> so. <laughs> what, so with that, all that being said, what score? Two. I'm going to give it a two. two. A two? two. two. All right. <laughs> The next one is for the Parks and Rec, and it's replacement of the fire panel. Fire panel and devices at the RecPlex need to be updated as, part, as parts can no longer be obtained due to the age of the system and the panel is obsolete. If it goes down, we have to be placed on a 24-hour fire watch until the new system can be installed. So with that being said, how does that program achieve the results of community character? Say the safety issue um, can be applied to, to this one. Yeah. 
Anybody else? One. 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 Seems like everybody's. Okay. Next one, we're almost done with this goal. Next one is the replacement truck um, number 38 for the Parks and Rec. This is um, currently they have a 2001 Jeep Cherokee and is usually utilized by the park janitorial staff to drive in different locations that we serve and clean up and transport janitorial sanitizing equipment. It's quite old, needs to be replaced. Um, how does that uh, replacement vehicle achieve community character results, if any? I think it's a one. I mean, one? clean, visually appealing. Anybody else? Does everybody agree with the one? How about that? Okay. Yeah. Um, the next one is the replacement of the soccer goals. How does that achieve community character results? One. 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 Okay. Does everybody agree with one on that? Okay. The next one is the snow plow for the Parks and Rec Department. Well, this says currently the public works does the snow removal. Is that correct? Yes. And this would be a separate unit just for the parks and rec. Yes, and I think they said um, by having their own that they can plow their own and not have to rely on timing and whenever they get around to it after the streets are plowed, they can plow the parks and rec and be done with that. So streets are number one priority. Streets are number one priority. So if they had this piece of equipment, is that correct, Brian? If they had this piece of equipment, then they would be able to take care of the parks and rec on their own. Um, mm -hmm. So how does that achieve the community character results, if any? Zero. Zero. Everybody agree with that? I think it's a one. 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 Three. Yeah, how often Four. does it snow here? I'd say uh, one. Zero. Zero. Wait, so we have three zeros and four ones and some nothings. So it, zero and one are so similar. So close. Uh, what do y'all think? In a group consensus, one or zero? Just put a point five. <laughs> <laughs> no lie. You can't do that, Cody. You're gone. If, if you think it achieves it at all, it should have a one in any slightest form. If it achieves it not at all, really doesn't have anything to do with these definitions, it should be a zero. Well, which one of those bubbles would it? Right, that's achieve? a good question to ask. So if you think it needs a, to be a one, which one does it apply to? Well, don't we consider the recplex a gateway? Do we do we consider it as a gateway for Brainston? I mean, that's where a lot of our it's I where a lot so, of our yes. sports. So and I stuff think coming. maybe it might fall into you know um, lasting impression on visitors. That gateway. I mean, it's I don't care. We can do zero. It's the fine. Whole I mean, time of year, though, I don't think there's not that many that are going to be here at that. Yeah, but well, you could you could say provides for efficient, effective traffic flow that makes it easy to travel. You could, I mean, I, people but it's still just use in that the right parking place. lot. So let's just do zero. It's fine. Well, so if you think ahead. about during the winter times, you got volleyball and basketball yeah. uh, going on and those kind of things. You but have a lot more than what you think. It's not just locals during that time. It's it's we've got several tournaments. So that that's up to y'all. Um, one or zero. Stan, what do you think? Oh, well, that's not fair. I wrote down both zero and one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now, come on. So does that I'm telling you, Jamie, go with the point five. Do what? <laughs> it's a snow plow? The snow plow? So does it attach to... to a one of the trucks? Attached to the truck that what it is? Above? Yes. Yeah. I really don't care. I don't think it's time. Uh, we're wasting time. Time consuming. Time this, so... Yeah. Let's just all put zero. And zero. zero. Okay. Zero. okay. It'll achieve differently on another result. Okay, so um, the next one is um, for the police department. CRBN and HEPA filters must be replaced upon filter exploration. So this is replacement of their filters um, as they're nearing the end of their life. So what do y'all think as community character? It's a zero. Zero. So just a 
question. question. Because of the, the cost of those, that's why it's on this yes. list. It's just not a regular maintenance. Yeah, item. I was going to ask, is, yeah. is how much does one of those cost? Do you all know off the top of your heads? Because if you're doing them as a group or is it a single, are they pretty expensive for one? Okay. And these are for personnel or for the built structure? Personnel. personnel. They're, they're not cheap. And, and that's, so typical, maybe I should have explained that earlier because that's a really good point, Rod. Um, anything over $5,000 that sustains life and adds to life beyond a year, that's what we consider capital. And there's different um, types. We have the large capital, small capital, those kind of things. But by definition for the city, anything that exceeds $5,000 and adds life, and uh, adds to the life greater than a year. That's what is considered as a capital item. Okay. How, before we move on. Yes, sir. How important are those for our police to continue to operate? I mean, if these are at the point where the police couldn't be effective, it would address many of those. All of these filters have a shelf life. Sure. We're getting to the end of the shelf life for these filters. Um, when you look at the chemical, biological, I mean, th that's what we're looking at here. How often will we use them? Hopefully never. But okay. when we need them, we need to have them. Kind of like SWAT. Right? There you go. Yeah. yeah they fit on gas masks, basically. Okay. So. so what do you think? What's the score on that? Zero? Zero. 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 Yeah. Okay. The next one's protective equipment. For the police department, right gear, gear for me, crowd control, civil district. I gave this a one. One. Yeah, I, I could have gone a two. Quite Community honestly. character, riot disturbance, etc. Keeps neighborhoods safe. Okay. Uh, never thought we would. Unfortunately, never thought we'd need it, but uh, we did have a bit of a, a, a well managed. By the way, again, challenge, uh, and we never know when that's going to happen again, and it's sad to say because. I believe we are a truly amazing community, but sometimes folks from outside come into our neighborhoods. So mm -hmm. what, what scoring do you think? One. I'm one. Going to one. Everybody agrees, sounds like. The next one is the traffic signal improvements for public works. How does that apply to the results for community character? Definitely helps with traffic flow. It does. Anything else? So what score? One? Does everybody agree? One. Okay. Next one is the water line rehab for the neighborhoods. Community character and the results given. How does that meet the needs of those results? We all start the bidding at two. <laughs> <laughs> And so it meets the needs of a couple of uh, those definitions. That's what you think? Okay, so does anybody else have any other opinion on that? It sustains and invests in the community. Okay. Okay, Sam, go ahead. I'd go a one. one? I'm going to undercut you. And I'm gonna <laughs> the gloves are on. One and a two. Anybody else think anything differently? What do y'all think? I think a two. Two? I, I think you can make an argument for two of these. Two? Yeah. Two. Two? Okay. Let's keep moving. Um, uh, next one is Spring Creek Water Main Engineering. This is for the Utilities Department. Area adjacent to the city limits currently served city water to a connected private water system. Proposed improvements would eliminate private system connection, provide ability to loop existing dead end city mains, um, and provide water service to the annexed areas. Okay, what do y'all think as far as that? Uh, capital program goes, where, how does that meet the needs of community character, if any? I see a zero. Michael, zero. Anybody it, else? I mean, it sounds like it's going to provide water to the neighborhood, or? Well, and that's what I was going to say. I think it is part of the, the one bubble on making a safe neighborhood for fire protection. Yeah. Matt, that'd be, assuming that's fire protection. Right. Okay. So do y'all think a one? That would one. be one. One. Okay. Um, 
The next one is a replacement um, John Deere Gator for the utilities department. <coughs> What's this used for? They might want to know that. Uh, this is used at our Cooper Creek uh, wastewater treatment plant facility. So the operators use this to run around the plant and perform their daily checks on, on uh, the plant itself. So it helps them get around instead of by foot. So this would be a zero for zero. community character. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then does everybody agree with the zero? I don't want to move too fast. Okay. Uh, the next one is replace a Ford F-150 for the utilities department. It's a scheduled replacement. What do y'all think on that one? What does it do? What's it used for? <laughs> See, you won't have to go through these all the time. <laughs> uh, so this vehicle is, is used in our administrative office for our backflow uh, technician and also our plan reviewer to go out on job sites and uh, work with the community and developers on permit processes. One. 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 So that is the end of one of the goals, and I don't know, would y'all like the opportunity to have a break right now, or do you want to keep moving? If nobody needs a break, I say we... I think Miss... Oh, ready to go. Okay. Okay. Just a real quick break. Jamie, Remember, is there the is uh, bagels and stuff over there with uh, some water, um, and lunch will be served around noon, so... Jamie, are yourself. these the same... They are, so you're going to get really... Just different goals. So gotcha. it's going to be the same capital request. So the questions that you've asked and stuff, you'll go through these and just score them against the, the goals. And so it'll move a lot quicker now that you, when you have a better understanding of really what those are. Yeah. Uh, arts, culture, and education. Jimmy, let's bring in ribs and put Bill Skeins over the edge. <laughs> Yes, this is being live streamed. We could call Bill up and say, look, Bill.
was up there. Right. But this one was up there. No, but our the, arts. Arts. the art. Oh, oh, the sheet that was the up sheet, there. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's what we, we scored them against the community character right. results. Yeah. That's what I'm asking. Are we using the same, the same one? one? Yeah, yeah, we're going to use the. <laughs> I don't see what y'all see. Uh, arts, culture, and education will be the ones that we're scoring it against. Okay. But if you y'all need another uh, spreadsheet. No, I'm just going to make another line okay. here by the one that yeah. I already done. So, so. We scored them against the community character goal, but I think the spreadsheet was different. Uh, that was on their thing. It's the same thing. It is. It's they, the they same just, thing. They were just out of order. Yeah. So, some of us that were paying attention found it out. Okay. So just, just, just so that we're aware, arts, culture, and education are the next is the next goal being scored, but it's all the same capital items. So it'll start it'll start moving fairly quickly. Maybe, maybe. I should not say I mean it I mean if y'all want it. <laughs> I should have learned. Okay. Ruth and I are just making up our own cabinet. <laughs> We're just <laughs> <laughs> Well, y'all go right wait, ahead. This one for community needs arts, culture, and education yes. is what we're scoring. Yes, and that right. goes along with the arts, culture, okay. education spreadsheet. Right. Yeah. So it's all the same concept, it's just different goals and different results that you're scoring it against. Four being achieving the highest possible result, zero being none at all. So um, are y'all ready to start or, say, I'll wait a little bit for Stan, okay. Sure, okay, 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 let's keep moving then. Okay, so arts, culture, and education. We got the replacement of the 2002 uh, Chevy flat bed unit for the Public Works Department. Flat <laughs> Get y'all's minds out of the gutter. <laughs> My goodness. Flat bed pickup truck replacement for Public Works. This is a replacing of the Streets Maintenance Department's 2002 Chevy flatbed. How does that achieve arts, culture, and education, and to what level? It, it might be a background for an artist to paint. You know, it's probably a character. Okay, that's a stretch, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> if it doesn't qualify for that, then it'll be a zero. zero. Okay. Zero. Zero. For a zero. All right. Big, big zero. Okay. So there's less, there's less results on this one, if you've noticed. So uh, advanced metering infrastructure system, this is for utilities. Zip. Zero. Zero. Okay. The next one is the Compton Drive flood protection. Zero. Zero. Zip. Zero. The next one's the water system GPS unit. Zero. Wow, we are moving, okay. The next one is the groundwater well, sir. Uh, the groundwater well. Zero. Okay. Everybody agree with that? The next one is the lift station 34 equipment and generator upgrade. Zero. For the arts culture, that's a zero. Scheduled lift station pump rebuild for the arts culture and education. What do you think? Zero. Zero. Does everybody agree with that? Yes. Okay. Uh, the next one is the sewer collection rehab for arts, culture, education. Zero. Zero. Everybody agree? Okay. Uh, next one is the rebuild Compton Drive effluent pumps. Zero. 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 Next one is uh, rebuild, replace Cooper Creek aerators. Zero. 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 Next one is utilities uh, freight line pump truck. Next one is the, yeah. Did I miss one? No, no, I, okay. I overlooked it. Zero. Zero. Okay. The next one is to replace the international dump truck for utilities. Zero. Zero. The next one is the Meadows Raw Water Basin Ceiling. Zero. Arts and, commun and Culture, okay. And the next one is to rebuild the cliff, cliff intake pump. Zero. Zero. The next one is for Parks and Rec, the pool grate replacement, arts, culture, and education. You, you could, I mean, they offer swimming lessons. You could make an argument that this counts. 
Which one? What do y'all think? I think it's a zero. We have a zero and a one. Look, the mayor doesn't know how to swim, so he doesn't understand the, the connection. The mayor doesn't need swimming lessons because he knows how to swim. I'm a zero. Next. Okay, zero. The next one is the athletic field lighting improvements, arts, culture, and education. How does that re meet results? Hmm. Athletic field lighting improvements. Zero. Everybody agree? Okay. The next one is the replacement uh, flooring at the rec plex. It's the vinyl flooring in the lobby in the hallway. How does that achieve arts, culture, and education results? I'd say a one. They have classes over one. in the building. Yeah. They do have okay. classes. A one. Okay. Next one is the fire engine or fire station four. How does that achieve arts, culture, and education? Hey, I got one. They have open house and the kids come in and all that Okay. Stuff. <laughs> well, how does that achieve the results? <laughs> That's arts and culture and teaching. I think it's zero. Zero. Oh. It'll get there. Yeah. It, it'll get there, Jerry. That. Okay. Next one is the fire station driveway replacement for fire station three. Zero. Zero. Okay. Looks like everybody agrees. Online reporting software for the police for the citizens to report crimes online. How does that achieve arts, culture, and education, if any? Zero. Does everybody agree with the zero? I didn't see everybody. Okay. How about the, rep uh, the patrol replacement vehicles for the police department? How does that achieve arts, culture, and education? Zero. Okay. How about the SWAT operator equipment? Zero. Okay. How about the ballistic protection for firefighters and fire department? Zero. Does everybody agree with the zero? Yep. Okay. How about the fire station two remodel? Zero. How does that achieve arts, culture, and education? <laughs> oh, there's a good point. What? <laughs> the arts department go paint the oh, funny. <laughs> This is just like social media. If you want something, you can you can make a case for anything if you look hard. <laughs> I'm just the facilitator. <laughs> okay, is that a what do y'all think? Zero. Zero. Okay. How about the um, painting of the hazardous material trailer? Zero. Unless, Everybody, unless Stan I, wants the, the students to come. I think the well. students Stan. could do it. Okay. Um, how about the asphalt paver for public works? Zero. Zero. Okay. How about the um, route to replace the pedestrian crossing at the Presley's Theater? Arts, culture, and education. Does that achieve any of those results or all of them? Does it, I mean, you could say it supports and encourages the performing arts and artistic activities that contribute to the local economy. You could say that. I, I hear somebody laughing. I don't, I don't think they like my argument. <laughs> I'm trying here, okay? <laughs> That's valid. Are we going to get the kids to come paint it? Well, okay. What would we think? Zero or one? Zero. Zero. Okay. The next one is the 76 CID maintenance building. How does that achieve arts, culture, and education? If any, zero. Zero. Okay, the next one is the uh, pedestrian crossing at the Shepherd of the Hills. Does Zero. that achieve it? Zero. Zero. The next one is the rebuild Meadows in tank pump. Zero. Okay, the next one is the rebuild of the Compton Drive pump. Zero. Zero. Okay, the next one is to replace the international sledge truck. Zero. Okay, does everybody agree? Yeah. The next one is to rebuild the Compton Drive influent pumps. Zero. Okay, the next one um, is the uh, portable generator for utilities. Zero. Zero. Okay, does everybody agree with that? Okay, the next one is to replace the Ford F-350 utility truck. Zero. Okay, the next one is the 
uh, repair of the Walmart water tower? How does that achieve arts, culture, and education, if any? Zero. <coughs> okay. Next one is the construction of fire station four. Zero. Zero. Okay. Next one is the portable restroom for the parks department. Zero. Okay. The next one is the replacement fire panel for the parks and rec department. Arts, Zero. culture, education. Zero. Zero for everyone. All right. The next one is the parks and rec replacement truck. Zero. Okay. Next one is the snow plow for parks and rec. Let's do the soccer. Soccer goals. Oh, first. bless. Thank you. Um, soccer goals. Hmm. Arts, culture, and education. What do y'all think? Going once, anybody? What do y'all think? I'd go one. For one? Education on I'll go one. one. I'll go one. And soccer is pretty because educational. Soccer's part of sure. yeah. Soccer is pretty fantastic. I can okay. Go one. <laughs> one. Okay. No plow. Uh, zero. Snow plow. Uh, next. <laughs> zero. Zero. Next one is the filters uh, for the police department. Zero. Next one is the protective gear for the police department. Zero. zero. Next one is the traffic signal improvements. Zero. Okay, everybody agree on that one? Yep. Okay, next one is the water line rehab for the neighborhoods for the utilities department. Zero. Zero. Okay, next one is the Spring Creek mains for uh, the utilities department for the Zero. neighborhood. The next one is the John Deere Gator for the utilities department. Zero. Next one is the Ford F-150 for utilities. Zero. 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 Okay, we're done with that one. Okay. Next one is uh, safety, health, and socioeconomic. And that spreadsheet's got pink at the top. Pink? We kind of color-coded these. Socio, uh, safety, health, and socioeconomics. Yes, it's, it's pink. And this one has a lot of definitions behind it. Provides for overall personal safety of its residents and visitors through a visible presence, prevention activities, and community education. Um, I want to give a little bit of time for y'all to read through these definitions because there are a lot of them. Uh, they're important, so... If you want to take a few minutes just to read through those and let me know when you're done. Unless you want me to read them to you, but. Jamie, would you take a minute and explain the bubble at 3 o'clock, please? Builds a strong community. Is that the one? Builds a strong community by encouraging the formation of a centralized, collaborative effort to help and support the life needs of children's families and neighborhoods. I believe this one went off of the... Um, Stan, you might have to help me out, where the public safety was uh, creating the... Um, the um, environment for the police and the neighborhoods to come together. Um, what is that called? I forget that. Um, National Night Out and the uh, uh, Community Watch, yes. That was kind of geared towards um, that to build a strong community and having police departments in the neighborhoods and making um, the community feel safe by doing the walk arounds, the neighborhoods and all of those kind of things, community watch and the national line out, and all of those are applicable to that. It's really geared towards a strong community and making them feel safe with their children and their families. And that's 
really where that came from. I don't know if that was helpful at all, but yeah. So on this one, you'll be scoring against all the same programs, and it's just a different um, goal. I will tell you that when you hit the, reach the governance results, it's different uh, programs because it is IT-related, finance-related, uh, those kind of things, okay? Are you all ready, or do you need a few more minutes? Sure. Just an observation, there are several bubbles there that um, I think um, deserve more of our time and effort. That's why I wanted you to take some time to read through these because all of these, they're very important and you'll see that. And so when you're scoring them, just make sure that you look at all of those results and, and find out how each piece scores back to that. Um, are we ready to go through the process really quickly, or what do y'all think? Is everybody ready to keep moving, or do y'all need just another minute or two? Okay, okay. Let's. So the first um, item is the um, Chevrolet flatbed, flatbed, I don't know why I cannot say that, replacement of that truck. Um, how does that apply to the safety, health, and socioeconomics the results, does it achieve high on the results or not at all? Or somewhere in between? A safe, well-maintained infrastructure, I think it could help contribute to that. Reliable utility network, all of those things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What are you thinking in terms of score? Two. 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 Twos. Two. Okay. The next one is the utilities advanced metering infrastructure. What do you think on that one? Two. Two. Does everybody agree? Two. Okay. Next one is the Compton Drive flood protection. Four. Four. Does everybody agree with a four on that, or is there anybody else? I'd probably be more of a three, but three? I, the difference three. between three and four, I'm not sure that. Okay. And again, we all know the importance of that. Problem. Yes. Four. Four, seven. Okay. Next one is the water system GPS unit. Safety, health, and socioeconomic results. How does that achieve those results? A two or a three? Which one? What do you think? Two. Two? two. Everybody agree with a two on that one? Yeah, two. Okay. Next one is the groundwater well. For rebuild and replacement? Two. Two, I hear a lot of twos. All right. Next one is the lift station 34 uh, generator upgrade and construction. How does that meet the safety, health, and socioeconomic results? Does it achieve them Probably to the highest two. level? Probably a two. Two? two? Does everybody agree with the two? Any other thoughts? I could go three if anybody else wanted to. I'll change mine. Okay. Well, does it achieve all of the results or just a few of them? Or what do y'all think? Well, yeah, there's, eight, there's eight bubbles up yeah. here. Yeah. I see two of the eight 
as I see it, that, that relate to utilities, public works. So, okay. I, see. I mean, I would say even on the Compton Drive, I mean, I know that's an important project, but I, I would have rated it a two based on the results in the, the total yes. criteria here. Yes. So. Oh. Okay. Which two? I think the uh, uh, promote and sustain a clean, properly regulated, visually attractive, blah, 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 that delivers safe, clean water, manages wastewater treatment, and provides effective stormwater management. I think that definitely that bubble is, is and then um, the other one. Uh, the safe public infrastructure network. Is, yeah. I, I yeah. Felt like the public infrastructure network. Is the same. Okay. So a two is that the two score? Two is all I can get out of that. And okay. I'm like, I'm like Cody on the the Compton Drive. I was a two on that as well. Just I know it's important, and we'll get to that. But yeah, we're not going back and changing it. But right. A two for the same reason. Yeah, here. and that's and that's why it's so important that those definitions we mm -hmm. keep focus on those definitions because all of us could venture out to a reason why everything is needed. So yes, absolutely. Well, you, let, you tend to let your your personal yes. opinion yes. Um, drive it if you yes. if you don't stay within this model. So. That's why I am just a facilitator you today. Are, yes, and you're doing a great job. Jane. So um, so did we say a two on that one? And that was the lift station thirty four. Just so I'm clear. Okay. All right. The next one is the scheduled lift station pump rebuild for the utilities. What do y'all think? Same. Two. Okay. Anybody else have anything different? Okay, who is it? The next one is the sewer collection rehab for utilities. For the safety, health, and socioeconomic results, how does it work to achieve those results, if any? It'd be the same as the prior one. I'd still be a two. I mean, are, are within this community needs category, no one specific need has any more weight than the other, right? Right. So they weren't, they weren't sort of, these weren't. They're not ready. prioritized in order of importance, no, because um, these were, um, through the, the exercise that we went through, there were so many definitions. And so we, we boiled them down to the ones that we felt were the most important to achieving this result for our community. So all of them hold the same weight. It's just, do they achieve several of them? Do they achieve one of them? Do they achieve any of them at all? That's kind of the mindset. So did we say a two or zero or what do we think? Two? Two. All right. Um, the next one is the Compton Drive pumps. Two. Rebuild those pumps. Two. two. Does everybody agree on that? The next one is to rebuild and replace the Cooper Creek aerators. So safety, health, and socioeconomic results. How do those achieve those results? Two. Same two. A two? Same, sure. Mean. Okay. Um, the next one is the um, utilities Freightliner pump truck. What do you think? Two, okay. Guess what I'm gonna vote for the dump truck. Two. <laughs> okay, international dump truck, what do y'all think? Two. Two. Um, how about the Meadows water basin ceiling? Two. Two. Everybody agree, two? Next one is the rebuilding of the cliff drive intake pump. Safety, health, and socioeconomic results. How does it achieve that? Two. Two. Two? Okay, the next one is for the Parks Department, the pool grate replacement. How does that achieve safety, health, and socioeconomic results? Would that be higher than a two because of how 
has to do with uh, swimming pool at Parks and Rec. Does the does this system have anything to do with maybe this? I don't know if anybody's here from Parks and Rec. Yes, Brian is. Is that does the water from the pool go into that, and then it's? I hear a two. two yeah. Make it a two. Two. Okay. The next one is the athletic field lighting improvements for the Parks and Rec. How does that achieve safety, health, and socioeconomic results? Have you tried to catch a fly ball at night? <laughs> <laughs> How does that achieve the results? <laughs> I'd say one. One? Two. 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 Everybody thinks two is fine. Okay. All right. Next one is the replacement flooring at the Recplex, the vinyl flooring for the lobby and the hallway. Um, safety, health, and socioeconomic results. How did that? How does that program achieve those results? Is that vinyl flooring? Is that a safety issue or an appearance issue? Zero for me. Zero. Okay. Next one is the fire engine for station four. Safety, health, and socioeconomic results. Three. three. I think three, according to the walking down. Yeah. 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 Okay. Does anybody else have anything different? Three. Stan says a three. three. Okay. The next one is the fire station three driveway replacement. How does that achieve safety, health, and socioeconomic results? Does it achieve a lot to a high level or none at all? What do you think? Maybe a one. One. A one? Okay. Does everybody agree with a one on that or do you have some other thoughts? One, okay. How about the next one, the police online reporting software? How does that achieve safety, health, and socioeconomic results? Um, just as a refresher, this software allows citizens to report crimes online. I have a question for Chief on that that came back several times in my head. What if you get some problematic people out there? Will you have oversight on that input? As they come in, they won't just go straight to a computer to dispatch. Correct. Right now, we have um, just a system where somebody can go online, fill out a form. We have to go and mine that information. What we're looking for here is a software program that will interface with our RMS, our records management system, so you, the citizen, can go online complete a report, it goes into the system, and we don't have to mine that information. It is routed to the appropriate officer detective to then look at. Is that my, my question is more specifically, what if somebody is nefariously trying to play with your system? It, without that interface of the officer and the public, you know, you, you feel what's going on. What if a crazy person gets in there and backs you around? We would be able to identify that and deal with it appropriately. The, the online system, is, is really designed for those people who need a report for insurance purposes or, you know, the, the tourists coming into town that want to report something but don't necessarily want to sit around and wait for a cop and things like Unless that. Unless something's changed, I know it, it used to be. We, we had this system up home, but uh, you couldn't report a felony on the system. Correct. And even on our makeshift system that we have right now, it's misdemeanors, the lower level offenses. If there's something of significance, you're going to get a cop. Thank you. Would this operate similar to the uh, roads, the road repair system that we have now where you can report online it, if there's potholes? It's probably a lot more detailed than that where you, the citizen, can go online, complete the whole incident report. Oh, I see. And then get a copy of it. Is that confidential? I mean, no one else outside of the police department could go in and see that or whatever. 
Theoretically, and I say that because Chad's in the room. <laughs> Chad says absolutely nobody. <laughs> Not even the rush. Like the general public, you can't see it like a comment on social media or whatever. I mean, it's there's there's some forms of privacy. I'd have to. Right. I, I haven't, re you know, reviewed the system thoroughly, you know, until we get. But it's to the like point an app, it. right? So, I presume like if I that, use yeah, my app, somebody else couldn't see what I ordered on right. Amazon right. or whatever. So, okay. Right, be a matter of convenience, and you set that up to try to protect PII or personal information. Okay, so with all that being said, what do you think? How does that achieve the results of safety, health, and socioeconomic results? I think it's a three. A three? At three. least a three, yeah. Everybody agrees? Okay. All right. How about the patrol replacement vehicles? What do y'all think? Three. Three. Okay. How about the SWAT operator equipment? Okay, everybody, it looks like everybody agrees with the three, supports all those results. All right, how about the ballistic protection for firefighters for the fire department? Safety, health, and socioeconomic, the results given, how does that achieve those results? Three. Three, okay. How about the fire station number two remodel? What do y'all think? How does that achieve the results of the safety, health, and socioeconomic results? Does everybody agree with the three? Yeah. Three. Yep. Three. I'm sorry, Chad's not here, so I couldn't talk about what it could be. Does that achieve <laughs> results, Stan? <laughs> okay, three. In all seriousness, the uh, the reason that I agree with the three is is not just the fact that this is where these guys live for 24 hours, so they do need to have a, a proper environment to be in. But the replacement of that emergency generator is, is part of this as well, and that is critical to keep their operations running. So with that being said, which, which results does that achieve? Does that achieve the overall personal safety of residents and visitors through the presence? Which ones do you all think it achieves? I think it's that one. I think offers protection from harm and wrongdoing. I mean, it's there. Yeah. And, um, and I think it could also, um, I think it could also fall into that build a strong community, encouraging mm -hmm. formation of centralized yeah. collaborative effort. I think it could yeah. fall into that as well. So. Thank you. It's helpful to know when y'all when y'all get these scores which ones you define those as because everybody thinks of them differently. So sure. Okay, so that one was a three. The next one was the paint hazardous materials trailer. Um, what do y'all think on that one? Zero. Zero. Hold on. It's for the hazard materials response team. It's the trailer. It's to repaint it. I believe it's getting quite run down. So um, does that achieve any of the results? And if so, I think the painting what level? of it does not no. affect any of these. The trailer itself does. But the painting of the, and it, so it, well, the, I think it'll fall into something, another category. Okay. Yeah. So Charlie, this is just painting the tree. The it, trailer's it, it, safe and all that. It's, it's just, the repainting just of the it because it's looking, it's, it's yeah, it's just that right, maintenance, just, essentially. Just repainting? Okay. So in other words, it's not necessary to operate. Right. It's just, it's pretty run down. So I think somebody said visually attractive. It is not. Just saying. <laughs> I'd say a zero. I mean, in my opinion, a zero okay. would be what I would give it, and, and knowing that it's going to score higher probably somewhere else. Okay. So we do have a zero on this one. Does anybody yeah. else have any other well, thoughts? It shares and celebrates the uh, community values and all assets of service and business, and people are going to see this. Mm -hmm. You know, it violates our. our community standards. It and really that's, does. keep in mind, it's a hazardous material uh, trailer, so the, yeah. The, the trailer's condition. You want a good looking trailer when you pull up to a hazard or cleanup. <laughs> so is, is it housed outside? Most Where of the time? is it housed, trailer, uh, Charlie? Sorry. Can we put it inside? <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> won't have to paint it. It's fixed. <laughs> I'll give it a one. One. I'm good with a one. One. Like Everybody. One. All right. Yay. The next one is the. <laughs> we like things to be pretty here. So. Yes. Right. It's important. Yes. It's important to be pretty. Asphalt paver. How about that one? Safety, health, and socioeconomic results. How this one for me. One. <clears throat> yeah. Several yeah. ones. Everybody agree. And it falls into falls that. Under the Safe public well, infrastructure, well maintained. Yes, that's very true. Traffic yes. flow, mobility. It also falls under the provides the overall personal safety resident visitors through a visible presence, prevention yes. activities, and community education. Yep. So would you say it's more than a one? Yeah, two. 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 All right. How about the uh, pedestrian crossing? So we have really two of these and essentially they'll score the same. So what do y'all think on the pedestrian crossings, safety, health, and socioeconomic, how does the pedestrian crossings achieve those results? Personal safety of its visitor, visible presence. Promotes, sustains a clean, properly regulated and visually yeah. attractive community. It's designed to provide the safe public infrastructure. Yeah. Yeah. Already up to three. Anything else? I think it's three. A three? Okay. The next one is that maintenance building for the CID. What do y'all think? Hmm. How does that achieve the results for the safety, health, and socioeconomic? I looked at it as a, at least a one because it does help maintain those. This is what be, that will be maintaining the crosswalks and that, that sort of thing <clears throat> out there and keeping the sidewalks clear of debris. And this, and this just allows us to keep that equipment closer to that area. Yeah, so I'm good with the one. I'm good with the one. Yeah. Okay. Next one is the pedestrian crossing. The other one. Three. Three. Same three, yeah. The next one is the Meadows Intake Rebuild for the Utilities <coughs> Department. Does that achieve the results for the safety and health? Two. Two. Anybody else? I think a minimum of a two. Okay. Any other thoughts on that one? Two's just good for me. Two, okay. The next one is the um, rebuild for the Compton Drive influence. Pumps. I guess almost the same reasons as we gave the other one. Yeah, the two. Yeah. Okay. The next one is the um, replacement of the international sledge truck. For utilities department, does that and to what level achieve the uh, community needs for safety and health? What are the results? It just follows a two with everything else. Does everybody agree with that? All right. Okay. The next one is the rebuild of the Compton drive pumps for utilities department. What do y'all think for safety and health? Okay. Yeah. For the same reasons. Mm -hmm. The next one is also for utilities, and it's the generator that was talked about earlier. Does that achieve, and to what level, the safety and health for the community needs? Two. It's two. 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 All right. The next one is for utilities, the replacement of the Ford F-350 utility truck. Same two. All right. Does, does everybody agree with that? All right. The next one is the water uh, hmm. Walmart water tower repair and maintenance. What do y'all think? Does it achieve the results? And if so, to what level? I'm in the two to three range. Okay. Two, I only see, I see two bubbles that I think that goes in. Okay. Someone else may see it differently. The 12 o'clock bubble? To the left. Yeah. 
Okay. So two then? Should be a three. I heard a couple threes. Three. I heard a couple threes and a couple twos. What do y'all think? Two. I'm a two. Two? Okay. Uh, it looks like we have a majority of twos. All right. Um, fire station four construction. How does that achieve the community needs for safety and health? And if so, to what level? Three. Three? Three. Looks like everybody agrees with that. How about the uh, portable restroom replacement for the Parks and Rec Department? How does that achieve the results for the community needs, safety, and health? <laughs> I keep going to that last sentence. It says, it is anticipated the structure will not be able to sustain being removed the next time that it floods. Right. And that's not a pretty picture. <laughs> FEMA? <laughs> Wait a minute. Is there a, some there sort go. of plan? Don't pull it out of the water. Yeah. yeah. I think um, FEMA had a part in purchasing it the first uh, time. <laughs> well, it does at least three bubbles. Yeah. yeah I'd okay. Do we say a three then? Yeah. Okay. Three. Yeah. Gotta go. The next one is the um, replacement for the fire panels for the parks and rec. Does that, and if so, to what? To what uh, level does it achieve the community needs for safety and health? The replacement fire panel. I'll go with the same three bubbles. Same three? So does that mean y'all are gonna give it a three or what do y'all think? Anybody else? I would say a three. Three? three. All right. Okay, moving on for Parks and Rec, the replacement truck uh, for the janitorial um, staff, they service different locations, service and clean, and this is to help them transport their cleaning equipment and those kind of things. How does that achieve the results for the community needs of safety and health, and if so, at what level? Three, I see three. threes. Everybody agree? All right. Okay, the next one is the soccer goals. Safety and health community needs. Is it a safety hazard at this point or? Brian, do you feel like it's a safety thing for the soccer goals? I know they have had to be welded and stuff. Yeah. Two. Three. Three. Two. What'd you say? So. More twos down there? Do we two. say a two then? Two. I thought you heard said three. <clears throat> okay. Did I hear three? Did I hear two? You heard two then. You heard I see a lot of twos. Three, Did somebody say a three? Ruth said a three. Jerry, said you said a three. A three. Mayor Stand said here. a three. Jan Stand where you at? Three. Three. Okay. Three? Yeah. I'm good with that. Okay. All right. Uh, snow plow for the parks and rec. Hmm. How does that achieve the given results for the community needs of safety and health? I guess I'm still not clear with our current snow plowing system. I know roads come first, but mm -hmm. I, what I don't know is does it, I mean, how much longer does it take to get to the parks? I, I'm not clear on the and need think, of a separate think, unit out there. I think that's part of the, the problem. It depends, of course, on the amount of snowfall. Um, I think what they're seeing is that the recplex, they actually open at like 5 in the morning, I think it is. And at that time, the plows, road plows can't get to them. So they're wanting their own device to be able to clear off the sidewalks and the parking lot area so we don't have accidents out there with the people that come out to the gym. I know it sounds crazy, but I used to, when I was really, really young, used to be one of those people that got up at five in the morning to go do this. But there are more people out there that go out there that walk and stuff, especially the elderly at that time of morning than you would think. So with snow, out, snow and ice on the ground? Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> A one for me. 
So it's a, uh, I heard a one. Does anybody else think anything differently? I give it a two. Okay, Jamie is a two. I have a two. Ann is a two. Pam? I'll go two. Everybody's two, okay. All right, so the next one is the filters for the police department. The HEPA filters that need to be replaced. What do y'all think? Safety and health? Does that achieve the results? And if so, to what level? I'm always torn on this one because it, it is very critical to the health of the officer. And without the officer, the public can't be protected. So to me, it's a three, but or even a four, but uh, it, it, I get it. It doesn't meet all of these bubbles in that sense. But it sure meets a lot of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if it meets a lot of them, but not all of them, would you uh, give it a three? Three. 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 Okay. All right, the next one is the protective equipment, right, gear? For the police department. What do y'all think? Same argument. Yeah. Same same argument. Same yeah. Okay. The next one is the traffic signal improvements um, for the public works department. How does that achieve the results for the safety and health for the community needs? Traffic signal improvements. I'm, I'm at a three on that one, too. Okay. Which three bubbles are you? Are, is it three bubbles or four bubbles that that's fallen into? Which ones are you looking at? I like, see three I see definite where ones. Protection from harm. Yeah. Forces law. Safe public infrastructure network. Provides for overall personal safety of I mean, our police officers are our residents. They deserve to be safe as well as everybody else. So. Okay. Next one is the water line rehab for the neighborhoods. How does that achieve safety, health, uh, and the community needs? Does it achieve the results, and if so, to what level? This be a two? I think we've given two. the other two for me. projects All right. like this a two. Yes, I believe so. The next one is the Spring Creek water mains. Does anybody else have anything different? Okay, two. All right, what about the next one, the John Deere Gator replacement, the utilities department? How does that achieve the safety and health for the community needs? And if so, does it? To what level? Well, Ken Kendall said they used it all around the plant, yes. right? Mm -hmm. So. I mean, I think to keep that up and running is obviously very important. So I, I still think within the parameters of, of these. Yes. I, think I, I mean, I'd still say it too. But yes. Two. I'd say two. Yeah. Okay. And how about the replacement of the Ford F one fifty? Same argument. Two. 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 Yep. Okay. All right. Jamie, we're not we're not supposed to be writing down our. We're, we're going to write them down and put them in the software. Down. You can write them down if you, you want to, to, but we'll you don't have to. Start I know if you were collecting. <laughs> Y'all want to start over? We're going to be here a long time. <laughs> the next one's economic development, and it's red. The top of it's red. I can't even prove it. Economic development stimulates economic growth through well-planned, sustainable development, redevelopment, and revitalization of the community, and several other things that you see here. I'll give you just a few minutes. This one's only two pages long. Is it? Does it have all the same stuff? In it? Are you looking ahead? Just number one. Um, it should have all the same stuff. Are we missing a page? I think it's... It looks like we fit more on the first page. Okay. All right, fair enough. Yeah, it ends with the John Deere and the truck. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. 
Officer Walton. Y'all want to keep moving? You and a few, just a few minutes here. Okay. So for economic development, uh, we'll go again. We have the Chevy flatbed unit 166 for public works replacement. How does that achieve the economic development results? And if so, what level? That five o'clock bubble says, or other community entities at financial risk. Do not put the city or other community entities at financial risk. I would give this a one, offer welcoming environment, hmm? safe, I mean, I would give it a one. A one, okay. What, does anybody else think anything different? Have anything else to add? Well, let, let me rethink that. Okay. Before. I've kind of got the 11 o'clock bubble strives to uh, balance the desired service levels. Changing costs and revenues are, I don't know what that means. Zero for me. I'm going to say zero. Yeah. I'm, when you think about it. Yeah. On the ec just in the economic development bubble. Yeah, I think that, that 11 o'clock bubble um, is, is more talking about as the, the costing changes how do we strive to balance the service levels out with the costing changes and, and those kind of things. But but so I heard a one and a zero. Does anybody else have anything else to add? And it's all about how these definitions are interpreted. Yeah, uh, I'm looking at the right? Yeah. I'm looking at the seven o'clock bubble. Because it does hook up a snowplow to it. And if it can clear streets, you can't hook up a restaurant. That's right. Hotel. You can't hook up a snowplow. I was at a one myself. Okay. One. one? one I'll, I'll change right. to a one. Okay. <laughs> the next one is the um, advanced metering infrastructure. This is a software that collects the water meter data, just FYI. How does that go along with the economic development results? And if so, what level? Could you, could you argue that it falls under strives to balance desired service levels with changing costs and revenues? There's a point in here where it talks about improve efficiency and reduce costs through prompt notification of leaks. Yes. Instead of relying on single monthly meter reads. So I agree. I, I yeah. assume that would be better for the customer. Mm -hmm. It's moving the technology forward and advancing it forward. Sure. Yeah. And Kendall's coming to lobby I need, more. I need to add one more thing to this. So this is also our meter change out program. So this keeps our revenue source coming in or keeps accurate revenue source coming in to maintain the operations. So we do that replacement every 10 years, right? Yeah. So, but uh, we cycle them. Every year, we're re actually replacing meters. So they're on a 10-year rotation. So we don't do all the meters in one year. We cycle them every. So about 10% yeah. each year. Yes. Yeah. So a really good example of that is years ago, um, we started, they started, the utilities department started that process, and we just recouped. We did not realize how inefficient the previous process was, and we recouped quite a bit of cost just updating those things. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's really good. Anyway, I'm just the facilitator. So, so Trying not to bias y'all. Two. So if you were to replace a meter today, it would be a type that would function under this AMI? Or is this migrating to that new function? Uh, so currently we, we um, all the meters have a radio read antenna on it. So what this would do during our change out program, we would change out the meter with an upgraded antenna that would promote us to be able to go to an advanced meter infrastructure. So basically we'd put antennas on our water towers and it would pull the data to the water towers and then upload it, upload it to a cloud and then a person can view that data on a website. 
And that really would help some of our customers, both, re both residential and commercial, if there was a leak. That's to, that has been a, uh, a big topic point with this. Is, sure it has. Is a customer can and, uh, watch their water usage daily. Um, this is real-time data, so about every 15 minutes it uploads. And then also it'll send us alerts when there's a have normal usage. So it kind of it creates a track record of the customer's uh, usage and then it'll send out alerts too. Yeah, I do think that's a significant community uh, Two. benefit. Two. Two. I said significant. If you, if you think about it, the electric companies have that too. You can go on and look at that. Okay, two, I heard a two. Does everybody agree with that? Twos are good. All right. The next one is the Compton Drive Flood Protection Program. What do y'all think? Economic development. How does it meet those needs? That bills, you're gonna have a problem with all this. How does it meet the results? If we go off of what we've done the other ones on, uh, we just started off this one, so okay, I'm getting them mixed up. Yeah, this hits most of the bubbles for me. Boy, I think it does hit all the bubbles. Does anybody have any other thoughts? What bubble doesn't it hit? Tell me how it uh, hits the strives to balance the desired service levels with the changing cost of revenue. What do y'all think? How does that achieve that result? Well, to me it does because we can build the wall for 14 million and to protect the plant, or we can lose the plant, and it would cost our city, if I recall correctly, 80 to 120 million. So, and I don't think businesses would want to come here if they weren't insured a good sanitation system. Okay. So that's how it meets them all for me. Okay. I don't think it falls in, encourages and maintains a diverse balance of retail, dining, entertainment, and business services. I don't think it falls in there, but to I maintain their quality of life. Well, I mean, I guess if you want to get that granular, it could. <laughs> so, so just remember, how does it currently, right now, achieve those results? Yeah, so I could live I with a three, it, but I would. I mean, really I less think it three. would. I mean, water water infrastructure is really important when you have new businesses mm -hmm. wanting to come and invest. So, you know, um, encourage desired growth. Um, so I don't think it hits all the bubbles. Okay. It, I think How about a three? three. What do y'all think? Three. All right. Three. Okay. Next one is the water system GPS unit. Rod and Ruth both think of two. Anybody else? Stan, two? Two. Two? I'll go two. Okay. Next one is the groundwater well. Rebuild or replace groundwater well equipment. Does that achieve the economic development results? And if so, to what level? I'm looking at three bubbles at least. Yeah, I'd say three. Which ones, if you don't mind my asking, just oh. for my understanding? Stimulates yeah. economic growth. Maintaining the quality of life, okay. Um, safe, welcoming environment. Yeah, welcome environment that is, rep that is receptive to a variety of development initiatives. Balance the desired service levels. And this is part of your uh, balancing the cost by banking your internal service fund. 
Yes, so so keeping the internal service fund aside, we're talking about really rebuilding or replacing the groundwater well equipment for the city's six backup groundwater wells. They are used to back up the water supply for the city's uh, surface water plants. So with that being said, does that change anything or, or does that contribute to your thoughts? It's a two for me. Two. Two for me. Two. Michael, a two? Two. Okay, looks like everybody's got a two. All right, the next one is the lift station 34, the uh, generator and con equipment and construction for that. What do y'all think, economic development wise? This is for the utilities department. I heard it too as well. What do y'all think? What, I don't know if it matters, but which, what does this lift station serve? Residential, commercial? Uh, so this is in the southwest part of town. So it serves um, uh, Chateau Hotel. It serves uh, Chateau Cove, Chateau Mountain, Majestic Point area out in there. And, um, a good portion of Tabor Rock Village, um, the residential subdivision out there. So, so a lot of transient housing for yes. people coming into town. Yes, correct. And with the with added development, it is. It, we did find out through um, our engineering uh, for this project that the pumps were originally undersized. So um, this station uh, desperately needs new pumps. Were they undersized, or is it because of that um, dramatic development that we have out there now? Uh, they were originally undersized. Okay, because we've approved a lot of yes, things. Yes, and, and then on top of that, with the added development, it's added to the issue as well. Yeah, that's pretty important. Okay, what do y'all think? If we're tracking with others, it would be a two, wouldn't it? That's where I was. Okay. Two. Sounds like everybody agrees with a two. Okay, um, the scheduled lift pump rebuild and replacement for the utilities department. 10 lift station pumps. It comes to be a two as well. Another two, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next one is the sewer collection rehab. Two. Another two. Two. <laughs> Next one is the rebuild of the Compton Drive pumps. Two. 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 Next one is the rebuild and replacement of the Cooper Creek aerators. Two. Two. Okay. Next one is the Freightliner pump truck for the utilities. Economic development. Does it achieve those results? And if so, to what level? Two. A two. All right. The next one is the international dump truck, the replacement of for the utilities department? Does it achieve the results for the economic development? And if so, what level? Same argument, isn't it? Okay. Two. Does everybody agree with that, a two? All right. Okay, the next one is the Meadows Raw Water Basin Ceiling. Two. two. <coughs> okay, is everybody good with a two? All right. Okay, next one is the Cliff Drive intake pump, the rebuilding of it, and I see a two already. Everybody agree with that? For economic development. The next one is the Parks and Rec pool grate replacement. Hmm. I see one bubble that I would put that in. One. <coughs> A one? Which one? Encourages and Seven maintains um, refers to balanced retail dining, entertainment and business business services that support the resident population in order to yeah. maintain their quality. I mean, it's going and swimming in the pool for our local residents. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. Okay, how about the next? Does everybody agree with a one just yes. before I move on? Okay. How about the athletic field lighting improvements? What do y'all think? Same thing. Same thing? Same one. And the replacement flooring at the recplex, the vinyl flooring for the lobby in the hallway. What do y'all think? One. 
a one. Because we do yeah. have a lot of visitors that sell, and I think that encourages. Yeah. Yeah, lots of people <clears throat> trek through there. Okay, the next one's the fire engine, fire station four, the fire engine for that. Does that achieve results for economic development? And if so, how? I think it offers a safe and welcoming environment because okay. to grow, you know, there's two things that businesses are really wanting to make sure their employees are safe uh, with good police protection and good fire protection. So okay. I also see stimulus stimulates economic growth through well plants, sustainable development, redevelopment, and revitalization of the community. Yeah. yeah. And I don't think any business is going to want to come somewhere where there's not the infrastructure in place, you know, like fire, police, water. Investors, well, so. too, sure, yeah. yeah. So do, what do y'all think as far as a score? Two, three, what are y'all giving it? It's a weak three, strong two. Strong two. Oh, I like that. Strong two. <laughs> I heard a strong two. What do y'all think? All right, let's go with that. Okay. Next one Two is uh, the fire station three driveway replacement. As far as economic development, how does that achieve those results? What do y'all think? Well, you don't want new customers driving by seeing broken up fire stations. So um, what result does that achieve? I'm gonna give it a one. Yeah, I'd say a one. Yeah, one. For what result? Safe and welcoming environment. Okay. All right. All right. The next one is the online reporting software for the police department for the citizens to report the crimes online. Um, economic development. How does that achieve those results? Zero. At zero on that. All right. Does everybody agree with that? Okay. Looks like it. Okay, what about the patrol replacement vehicles for the police department? I think it's the same as the fire truck was for me, strong yeah. too. Okay, does everybody agree with that? Okay. What about the SWAT <coughs> operator equipment? Hmm. Yeah, that is a zero. Zero for me. A zero. Okay. And the next one is the ballistic protection for firefighters. Zero for me. I mean, it's important for those, mm. but not under the economic. Right. So. Zero for me on that. If we focus just on what we're, yeah, okay. All right, and the next one is the fire station number two remodel. How does that achieve economic development? And if so, to what level? You got a safe environment and uh, desired service levels. I think it's kind of like the fire truck. It'd be a two for me. Two. Mm -hmm. Okay. Everybody agrees with that, it looks like. And then the next one is the painting of the trailer for the fire department. Hazardous materials. Zero. I'm going to stick with zero on this one. Okay. <laughs> All right. The next one is the asphalt paver for public works. What do y'all think? Economic development. Does it achieve the results? And if so, how? I think it does some. Yeah, I mean, higher, higher quality repair to the streets. Ability to repave smaller city-owned parking lots and alleyways. I mean, I I would say that would at least a two for me because it's going to help bring businesses in potentially, or they're going to okay you know, appreciate that their roads are, are being well maintained. Okay, so stimulates economic growth through okay. redevelopment and revitalization. So y'all would give that a two or more than a two? Give it a two. Two. Okay. The next one is the pedestrian crossing at the Presley Theater. What do y'all think? Economic development, how does that achieve it? And is so, to what level? So it meets the retention and expansion bubble, uh, encourages the, your diverse balance of dining and whatever. Uh, what'd you say, uh, Cheddar's is coming? Cheddar's is coming. So I'm sure when they saw that crosswalk that's there now, they said, wow, these people are up to it. Maybe a two. Okay. What What does anybody else think? What do you think, Rod? Well, we were. Our conversation was, uh, of course, redevelopment's happening out there without those right now. So you can make that argument for maybe a two. A two. Okay. 
Does everybody agree with the two? It sounds like everybody's on the same page. Okay. Um, how about the 76 maintenance building, the CID maintenance building? What do y'all think? How does that achieve economic development? I think it's a zero. Yeah. Okay. We're going to do it anyway, whether the building is built out there or not. So I'd say it's a zero as well. Okay. Under this bubble. So it achieves no none of these results. And if we gave the uh, pedestrian crossing at Presley the two, would that I think it's the same two yes. arguments we had. Well. Yeah. yeah. All right. The next one is the uh, rebuild of the Meadows intake pump. Didn't we list those others as a two? Yeah. Right. I believe so. Yeah. Two. Okay. And the next one is another. Uh, rebuild of two Compton Drive influence. Two. two. Does everybody agree with that? I just want to make sure everybody's on the same page. Okay. And then the um, international sludge truck, it's the replacement for that for the utilities department. What do y'all think? Does it achieve economic development results? And if so, to what level? Same two, I would think. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The next one is the rebuild of the Compton Drive pumps. Two. Stimulates economic growth. I heard a two. Two. Okay. All right. The next one is the generator for the utilities department, the one that Kendall was speaking about earlier. How does that achieve economic development? I think it's the same two arguments yeah. that the others have. Okay. Does everybody agree with that? Yeah. Looks like it. Everybody but Cody. Okay. <laughs> the Ford F-350, the replacement utility truck. Same thing, too. Does it same thing? Is that what yeah. y'all are thinking? Does anybody else have any other thoughts on that? No? Okay. Next one is the Walmart water tower repair and maintenance. How does that achieve economic development, mm. and if so, to what level, given the definitions? I heard a two. Two. Does everybody agree with a two? And on this one, every once in a while I'll ask y'all which ones create that, just because I, I want to make sure that I understand it, just so which ones are y'all thinking that that one falls under? Okay. I think by maintaining it, it helps to balance your desired service levels and your cost. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's those two bubbles. Anybody else? Okay. And we we said a two on that. Fire station for construction. What do y'all think? Economic development. Does it apply to those results? And if so, at what level? Definitely think it hits the stimulates economic growth through well planned sustainable development. It also hits the encourages and maintains uh, where it says it supports the resident population in order to maintain their quality of life. Yeah. I think we said a strong two on the fire trucks. Strong two. Okay. Does everybody agree with that? <clears throat> All right. The next one is the replace. <laughs> <laughs> our favorite one. <laughs> there's going to be a lot of conversation around it. Every, I cannot every, say it was in my Every year there's one. This this year it will be this portable toilet. I just visualized this portable bathroom I floating do down the river. <laughs> I see it getting dragged down the street. Yes. Okay. Um, sorry. Um, economic development, how does this fall? I think it's a zero <laughs> in economic development. I All do right. not think that portable toilet's going to impact our ability to grow. Um, well, it serves the fishing down at Taney Como, right? Campground. Um, does it serve also the RV park or not? The, I believe it does, yes. So it's got RV park generation. Oh, okay. Well, there. so there's some economic. Yeah. So campgrounds, like. One. I was a one. Okay. Well, no, I'm not, I'm not trying to convince you. I'm on the portable potty. It's more important than what I thought it was. So. 
So are what do you other, think? Are there other restrooms close by? Well, there are um, walking distance and stuff like this, but this one is closer to the campground. Well, they could walk to Bass Pro if thing. you're asking. About yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's a walking trail. <laughs> Depends on in a hurry. how bad you need to go. <laughs> well, that's right, Bass Pro. Yeah, if you see people at a dead run that's from right. the campground. <laughs> Not no. a race. I would give this a one. Okay. Grudgingly. One. A one, does everybody agree with that? It's I will try little, to. It's one little one. outhouse. <laughs> <laughs> okay, replacement fire panel for the Parks and Rec. What do y'all think? Economic development? Does it achieve those results? And if so, to what level? Maintains a safe, welcoming environment. If the place is on fire, it won't be very safe. Or welcoming. So it's at least one. What do y'all think? <laughs> I'd go with a one. A one. one. Does everybody agree? Okay, the next one is the um, replacement truck, uh, the janitorial truck um, that serves um, several different locations. What do y'all think about that? Economic development, does it achieve those results? And if so, to what yeah. level? Just personal perspective, I gave it at least a two because it does, that vehicle is, services our restrooms uh, for our guests. And it, it, so it, I think huh. it, I, I hit it at a two because it does help. Welcoming? The, it, well, yeah, well <laughs> trust me, if you need it, it's very welcoming. Uh, but anyway, it, that and uh, it also, uh, it does stimulate our economic growth because if you don't have those facilities available, people are not gonna shop in certain areas of town. Does it service our portable public <laughs> restaurant? <laughs> well, if they're not clean, right you're not gonna get people coming there. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so what do y'all think? What would you give that? As far as economic development for the Parks and Rec for that re replacement truck, what do you give it? Two. A two. I'll buy Stan's argument. A two? Yeah. Stan, are you saying a two? I'm saying two. Okay. All right. Next one is the soccer goals for the Parks and Rec. Economic development. Does it achieve those results? And if so, what level? Well, it's got to affect our sports market. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Sure. For sure. Supports the lo growth of the local economy. Soccer tournaments and stuff like that, yeah. sure. Two. Two or three? Two. Two. Two? Two. All right. Um, what about the snow plow? Oh, Lord. That damn <laughs> snow plow. The snow plow in the outhouse. I love these discussions. Okay, what about them? <laughs> I gave this one a one. <laughs> a one. One. I think that's a reach, but. I'm a, what, I'm a, what? A zero I think it's a zero. A zero, okay. Let's so zero. I don't if, think it has anything to do with that. If we give it a one, how does it achieve those results? Right. To me, it, it does stimulate our economic growth through the well planned sustainable development, redevelopment, but revitalization of our community because it does, people do pay to come use that rec place. And without, with the snow there, they're not going to come. That's what I was looking at. And, okay. and honestly, I'd go with a zero, but okay. that's why I gave it a one. What, anybody but else? When we look at the cost of that versus how much revenue we're going to lose on a snowy day with people not getting to the rec plex, well, it's going to take, us, no, I, I, it's gonna well, take us a long time to recapture that. It, You're it, saying what I was thinking. Yeah. That's why. I mean, one is a stretch. keeping in mind that the fitness center is 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 through contractually we have contractual monies coming in contractual obligations fitness center but i'm you know <laughs> well you raised a good point do we have leases out there where we have an obligation to keep this well the, the fitness center is a lease the fitness really, center so. And if people are coming there at 5 o'clock in the morning, my only assumption would be to use that fitness center. What other desire would they have to be out there? 
again, I'm just Sh shouldn't they get a day off some... when it snows at five in the morning? <laughs> I agree. <laughs> I mean, that's like a noon day, or but then you might get people upset because they want to get out and they're hardcore and they want to get out and exercise. So more power to them, but <laughs> you just never know. <clears throat> that is up to y'all, but Econ, I'm just partaking I'm in, in discussion. In zero. zero. Majority rules here, so I've spoken. What do y'all think? I zero, zero. One. Majority rules, but I'll say zero. Zero. Okay. The next one is those help HEPA filters for the police department. What do y'all think? Mm. Zero. 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 Everybody. Did I hear a two? Did somebody say a two? Zero. Okay. Sorry. I thought I did. Uh, protective equipment riot gear for the police department. How does that achieve our economic development results? Zero. 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 All right. Public works, the traffic signal improvements. How does that achieve economic development? I think that's got some. And to what level and what bubble, if so? Can, can you use that information? Does it track, like, the traffic flow, like the number of vehicles that... that we Probably. do have that. So, does is that this specific? Yes. So on Branson, if somebody was looking at putting in a store at Branson Hills, you could say, well, we know on a given day this many cars traverse that road. Yeah. We, this day. Okay. So we already have this in place. This is just adding other signals to that. So this one would specifically be for Branson Hills. Right. And it, it some also monitors pedestrians as well as cars. Now you can't give me like speeding tickets no. over there using this, no, right? No, 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 no. <laughs> right. uh, I'll, I'll support it then, I'll, I'll say a two. A two? <laughs> Does everybody agree with a two? Yeah. Yes. The next one is the water line rehab for the neighborhoods. What do y'all think? Economic development? Does it achieve our results? it does uh, at least a one okay how so <laughs> stimulate sti stimulates economic growth through well-planned sustainable development redevelopment and revitalization of the community okay I, i'll agree with one a one all right i'll buy that one how about the spring creek water mains Same argument, or do you have a different thought on that? I think it should fall in line with us. One. Okay, everybody Three agree with that? All right. The next one is the um, utilities John Deere Gator replacement. I think it's a zero. Zero. It's, it's the what they drive inside the plant. And so, as far as I, I mean, I think it's it's important, but. I don't think for economic development, is it important? Okay, okay. Well, Does anybody the plant else? Plant itself yes. is important, but I don't know that the John Deere. Yes. What does everybody else think? Does anybody else have anything else? Zero. Everybody agree. All right. Okay. The next one is the um, Ford F one fifty replacement for utilities. And that's the last one for this. What do y'all think? Same argument. Zero. Zero. All right. Does anybody need a break, or do you want to move on? Keep going. I'm ready for a break. Jamie. Yes, sir. And I've already spoken with, I know folks have something to do at 1 o'clock yes. today. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to rush this. Okay. I want to make sure we have adequate time, and, and I know, and by the way, for you folks that are new, trust me, we have never gotten through this in one day. No. <laughs> never. Never. Uh, so, but I don't want it rushed. Uh, so, I know lunch is here. Yes. And maybe we should do that and then give uh, the, at, at, get out of here at 1230 so folks can make their other appointments. Okay. So are we going to continue while we're eating? We could, if, if that would be okay. That way we'd sure. get done with what we could. We but. can, yes. Um, there are box lunches and there's just an assortment and then there's drinks over there. So if you want to take a little break and help yourself with the lunch and stuff and then come back together... Um, and then you want to end at 12.30? 12 12.30, quarter to one. And then I mean, just maybe yeah. reschedule yeah. another shorter yeah. meeting? Yeah. Absolutely. Soon? Yeah, okay. I agree. Let's plan on ending at 12.30. Okay, all right. So um, 
lunch is here, so we'll have a really quick break. <laughs> what, what's next? Oh, infrastructure. An environment, yes.
next one, or do you want to wait a few more minutes? Yes, that's okay. Tracy, can you pull up the infrastructure one, please? Thank you. So the next one's infrastructure and environment, and there's several um, definitions on this one as well. Um, do you want to take a minute to review those real quick? Okay. There's two things I'd like to bring up on this subject. One is, um, I know there's been some effort on what we can do to encourage more infill development versus continuing to expand our services. And the other one is, as we annex in properties, I think at each decision point, we need to factor in what the cost of providing services to that property is. I think that should be a deciding factor also. Okay, so we will try to move through this one um, just as quickly. I know you're eating, so I will pause. So you you're don't not worry about judge it. us if we talk with our mouth. I did, no, absolutely we'll not. Use, I am from the South. We we'll <laughs> use hand signals. <laughs> Okay, so the first one is the um, 2002 Chevrolet flat, flat, every time, flat bed for public works. How does that achieve infrastructure and environment results? And if it does, to what level? This is for the streets maintenance department. A one. Does anybody else think anything else, or what do y'all think? I like a one. One. Yeah. Does everybody agree with that? One's good. Looks like it. Okay. The next one is for utilities. Is the advanced meter metering infrastructure? How does that achieve the infrastructure and environment results? A two? If it includes the word infrastructure, it should be at least a two. <laughs> okay, so so what definition does it apply to? <laughs> Continually protects its water resources in order to maintain water quality of stream and aquifers and yeah, preserve that's a good one. existing hydrology. And it also, um, up under designs, builds, Bills. practically maintains a reliable mm -hmm. utility infrastructure. Yeah, those are good ones. Yeah. <clears throat> so... Two, three, what do y'all think? Stan, I forgot. What did you say? Two. Two. Anybody else? Everybody agree with a two on that? I almost think it's a three, but I'll go with a two. Okay. It's a strong two. A strong two. Does anybody else think anything else? Looks like. Okay, we're going to go with a two. How about that? Okay, Compton Drive flood protection, infrastructure and environment. How does that project achieve... <laughs> Those results. Anybody else think anything else? Do we think a four? There are no fives. So. <laughs> okay. How about a water system GPS unit? Captures point locations of new and existing assets. Water system. How does that achieve infrastructure and environment results? 
three. Does everybody agree with the three? I am good with that, but does that, if we um, go back up to that, that AMI and try to get that going in the future or whatever, we sure that's not a, we said a strong two, but we sure that's not a three. Well, do you, do you think it's a three? It a three. Pam thought it was a three. So if you think it's a three, well, maybe we should have further discussion on that. What does, uh, he went back up to the um, AMI and he's really wanting to uh, suggest that we bump that to three. Pam so you're did as about well. New strategies, you're talking mm -hmm. about proactively maintain and build and use it for, um, I mean, there's just all kinds of things. Okay. Three. Develop public okay. infrastructure at a pace that supports mm -hmm. population growth. Yeah. I agree. So we'll change that one to a three, and then we'll, the GPS unit is a three as well. All right. Does everybody agree with that? Okay. 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 So the next one is the groundwater well, and um, that's rebuild and replace of the groundwater well equipment for the city's six backup groundwater wells. How does that achieve infrastructure and environment goals and results? And if so, to what level does it achieve those? I, I think it's a four. I think it hits the act as a good steward of the land environment by enhancing existing ecosystems, signs, builds, and proactively maintains reliable utility infrastructure, <coughs> continually expands its effort to develop new strategies to increase um, energy efficiencies and use of well, I don't know about the renewable energy, but mm -hmm. <clears throat> I mean, I think it hits several of them. Not okay. the air, air quality one, but I think it hits most of those levels. Okay, so three. I saw um, Michael thinks of three. Pam, three or four? Three. So if it hits almost all of them, but not all of them, that's where your three would come into play. So I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll go with three. Okay. I, I really think it's four, but I'll go with three. Well. Does anybody else think it's a four? So, because it's 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 not for me to say. I'm just the facilitator. Yeah. So I have several threes. What do y'all think? Three. I'm good. Three. I'm okay. Good with three. Okay. Okay. So lift station number thirty-four, equipment and generator upgrade. What do y'all think on that one? The lift stations provide improved reliability, more efficient operations and reduced operating cost. Three. A three. 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 Does everybody agree with that? Yep. All right. Next one, too. The next one is the um, lift station pump rebuilds. Three. 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 You'll probably have a lot of those here coming up. Uh, the sewer collection rehab. Yep. Three. A three. Okay. Is the air quality one the one that's keeping everybody from the four? Is that? Well, we're going to get to that on. Yeah, that, 20, I mean, it's 22, just for 20, my understanding. We're going to get to that on twenty two twenty six. Yeah, it's going to hit the air. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Well, let's keep going then. Um, so we said a three. Um, what about the Cooper Creek aerators? I'd give that a three. Everybody, all right. Next one, um, the fire f freight liner pump truck for utilities. The replacement of that one. It's for the wastewater system. Does that support infrastructure and environment <coughs> results? And if so, to what level? Well, without those vehicles, none of the other stuff works, right? That's I mean, tying it back to. Yeah, uh, and it's a replacement of that one, so. Keep the same scores or what you're? I'd give it a two. A two? I was at a two. Three? I have some threes and some twos. Two. I, mean, I would give that one a three and then the next one up. Okay, so how many think it's a two? And a three? So there's 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 four threes and the rest are two, so twos have it by one. Okay. 
Uh, Meadows raw water basin ceiling. What do y'all think? What happened to the dump truck? Oh, did I miss one? I'm sorry. Uh, that one was a, oh, I did miss that one, didn't I? The dump truck. Didn't we give the one up above a two? So yes, it yes. I, I probably wrote that down in advance. Sorry about that. Okay, so I have a two on both of those, just, just for clarification. Are we agreed with that? Yeah. Okay, so Meadows Raw Water Basin Ceiling, what do y'all think on that one? As far as infrastructure and environment, how do we achieve those? I gave that a three. I think we heard earlier the water basin. So yes, I, you did. I think a three would be. A, th a three? Does everybody agree with a three on that? Three. Looks like it, okay. How about the next one, rebuild the cliff drive intake pump? Three. A three. Okay, and Stan, it is at 12.30 at this moment in time. Do yeah. we want to keep let's, going let's, or do we want to yeah, stop? Well, people are going to be driving a little bit, so let's go ahead and stop and okay. we'll yeah. restart right here. Okay, so yeah. if, if we can really quickly, let's set a date for the next meeting just to make sure we get that done. But the reason why I say that is because the governance results have a different set of programs on it that are just as important as the ones we've been talking about today. And I just don't want those to get missed. So um, does anybody have any time within the next week? And if not, what's the next earliest? That well, I was wondering think? about this. next Wednesday, I noticed on our city calendar, we have nothing. So okay. well, let's fill it out. My Tanger calendar is blank too. Let's go for so, it. Yeah. Next that Wednesday? Mm. I have the morning open. open, but I am I am from 1 o'clock on <clears> booked on Wednesday. Morning's fine. Huh? Yeah, I mean... 7.30. Um, I mean, I'd have to leave. I'd have to leave. I'd have to leave here by um, at least the very latest 12.30. And okay, you're talking so about Wednesday? Uh -huh. Yeah, Wednesday the 14th. Wednesday, I have a 9, a 10.30. And a few. My Wednesday is terrible. Don't, don't reschedule an account of me, but I, I can't do Wednesday. Wednesday? My Wednesday, I couldn't be here until 10. Okay, so it, it looks like Wednesday might not work. Well, that's fine. How about the 19th? There's nothing on our city calendar on the 19th either. That's a Monday? Yeah. I can I'm do good that. until 2 o'clock that day. Okay. Good. Everybody, you're good? How about Ruth? Are you good for the 19th, Rod? Mayor, how does the 19th look for 19th you? 19th looks good. Okay. Cody, you already said it was okay. Yeah. Michael, Terry, Jamie? Uh, Mondays are rough, but we can figure something out. Y'all want to do 9 to noon? Depending, we can get through the rest can, of them. Can we do 9 to 10? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. We'll say 9 to 1. If we get done quicker, yay. Um, well, I, and I think we will because I do now you, you've seen the process. Yeah, we don't. We took literally forty-five minutes this morning talking about the process. Yes, and and that was me. But I just wanted to make sure that the ones that hadn't been a part of the process understood why no, we do that the was process. Very important for you to yeah, do. I, yeah, yeah, absolutely. No, but we won't. You won't have to do it again at the right. next meeting. So we can get yeah, right and I, I definitely want to make sure we get to the governance results as well. Um, okay, so we say uh, Monday the 19th from 9 to 1. Okay, um, we'll set that up. We'll send it out. Um, thank you all so much for being a part of this. I know sometimes it, it gets carried on and stuff, but it is super vitally important because it helps the leaders make better decisions for the city. So is it okay thank if we you. take this with us to bring back? Yes, to take it you with you. Back? If you want to score in advance now that you know how the process works and everything, it'll probably help the process go a little bit quicker and help the discussion. So if you want to take it with you or if y'all need anything else from me, let me know, okay? We, we do have we to can adjourn just, the meeting. Yes, oh, yeah. yes, we'll, thank uh, you. We can just fill the, score these and email them in. Scrap the meeting. <laughs> well, uh, we've well, tried to argue. We've so tried that before. Oh, yeah, that yeah we still need to argue. Good, that's right. We we have tried that before, and um, we had a lot of stragglers. Bless your hearts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I make a motion. We adjourn. Motion. Uh, second. 
All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Ayes have it. Thank, Thank you. Thank you.